All right. How you guys doing? How is everybody doing? So I did do a ton of changes to the stream. So I fixed up the camera to hopefully make it look better. So hopefully the camera looks super nice, super crisp now. And I did get my arm in today. So hopefully I'll do a good job keeping the microphone next to my mouth. So if you guys think that the uh, sound is bad, video is bad, music's too low, let me know as, you know, obviously I am working on the setup. So let me know if you guys have any feedback regarding the setup. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But without further ado, let's get into it. We got my man Raphael first. Pokey Adam. Goldie saying first. Goldie, you were third. Goldie, you got beat. What's his face? How's it going, my friend? We got Vic in the house as well. B-Boy, we got Huey. We got Master Blaster. Ian said, yo, Ian, how's it going, dude? What's up? Jake, what's up, brother? We got Julio in the house as well. We got Mexicoon. Mike, how's it going? We got Nostalgia in the house. Green's over here. This guy says, looking good, sounding good. Nice. Darius Blaze, yeah. So, I, re I really just today, I basically went ahead and I basically re-bought a bunch of stuff. Um, your audio is peaking a bit, but not too bad. Okay, let's change that. Okay, so hopefully now it should be a little better in terms of the peaking. All right. So, let's go ahead and let's get into the mail first. So, we did get some mail today. All right, so hopefully the sound stays pretty good. All right, our first pack just coming over from the man, Randy. So, Rand, let's see it. Also, I did drop off the BGS and PSA submissions today as well, so those are now in transit and will hopefully get done pretty soon. Rick says, charging almost the price of retail tin for one pack. Well, yeah, so Rick, good luck finding it at retail. <laughs> All right, we got Rand in the house. He says, hey, Sauger, these cards are for your next express. Curious to hear your thoughts on the greats. Rand, let's take a look. Zed, how's it going? We got Derek in the house as well. Inflation is seeping into the Pokemans. Yes, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Will we be getting any Shiny Star V soon? I wouldn't say soon, but yes. I do have Shiny Star V coming, but it's coming straight from Japan. So it might take a little longer than usual. Okay, Rand, very nice. Lack of tape, so I like it. Yo, Matt, what's up, brother? How you doing? Eduardo says, are you sending Express to BGS as well? Well, Eduardo, with the thing with the BGS Express is we don't have that many people doing it. So, it you know, the only time we really get the price down for the grading is if we actually send out a decent amount of stuff. Oh, nice. So, Rand, these are the Gym 2 pulls. Nice. So, I remember you sending that. You got the Waifu Rosa. Nice. Got some good cards, Rand. Audio is weird. You sound kind of close to the mic. Okay, so too close. We'll try to put it back a little bit. So yeah, keep me updated on the audio situation. Because I am testing up a new setup. Cool to see you in Radar's chat. Yeah. I can't find any Pokemon cards anywhere. It's insane what's going on with the hobby. Well, yeah, and to be quite frank, it's mostly Pokemon's fault. Uh, so, you know, you really can't find anything right now, even from distributors. So right now, this Pokemon stock is very, very dry. Uh, they basically pushed back everything. So Vivid Voltage pushed back. Shining Fates, now going to be released in four waves. Pretty bad. Yo, Michael, how's it going, my friend? What's good? He says, what's up, Saga? How's life treating you, Ian? Pretty good. Life is treating me pretty good. Did you get the Venmo payment? I will check for you. All right. So, Rand, of course, you had to put them in the ones with the with the sleeves on the back. So I don't want to take them out the sleeves. I don't really want to touch your cards any more than physically possible. But the centering on the front looks pretty nice on this Jinx. Pretty good on this as well. It is a tiny bit thicker here. But I could definitely see the Sabrina's Gaze pulling a 10 as well. Now, of course, I'm not going to... Randy, you must have a cat. <laughs> Squirrel says, no more mic, huh? Squirrel, this is the mic. It is the mic. Squirrel, check it out. I got it on a stand, <laughs> on an arm. So if it sounds bad, let me know so I can tweak it a little bit. Alberta, how's it going? So pretty good on that as well. Blaine's Moltres, oh, definitely a little bit thinner on that side. 
though and blaine's moltres got the nice little swirl there but it is definitely thinner on that side the others look pretty good that one might actually score a nine due to centering but you might get lucky as well because it is actually a little tilted so it's thicker here gets a little thinner and honestly with the new setup you might be able to see it pretty well got the naughty grima a little thicker on that side got the dark machamp and so honestly Rand, i'm gonna assume that these are all pack fresh because i'm assuming that's really what you where you got them from right side here is a little bit thicker as well got the nice t-tar a little bit thicker on that side but as we've noticed psa has been a little lenient um i think it's just a bit too close it only cracks as you get louder okay so yeah give me a sec let me finish this and i'll try to uh, fix the mic real quick rose a tiny bit thicker on that side as well and we got the Gengar Mimikyu, which you really want to look at the back for the rainbows. But still pretty good overall. Tots bottom and left to right on the Gengar. Just give me one sec. Yo, Pat, how's it going? All right, so hopefully that did a little better. If it's still a little, like, cracking, then I'll just move it up further away from my face. <laughs> Yo, Titanic, how's it going, my friend? What, how you doing? Clay says, I'm loving the setup. It looks so clean. Yeah, so hopefully, Pat, I'm doing the camera justice. I did set it up uh, with Alpha yesterday, actually. So hopefully it's a lot better. So, Pat, thanks once again. And then Squirrel got the mic as well. So, try to set the mic up. I might have gone a little too overboard with that, though. <laughs> Mix this argument meant to say keep my hollows. Okay. So, yeah, we got one more piece of mail after this for uh, Goldie, and then we'll get into the orders. Purple says Nessa's better than Misty. Hmm. I don't know, dude. Misty's OG. Also, Pat, I saw your video with the guessing that Pokemon. Dude, I'm so sad that I saw that late. I would have loved to play that, but it's too late now. It's already been won. The ratio does look a little stretched. Yeah, it could. It, it, it actually is. It is stretched. So I can fix that for sure. Because I had to shrink it down so that way I could still fit the price guide in the side. But I do have a workaround for that, I think. So I'll have to just switch that for the next stream. Uh, yeah, Jason, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Okay. So, Rand, these will be going out in the next Express. I did drop off the BGS and the PSA Express today. So, those are now in transit as well. I'm going to make another video just like that right now, and I'm going to make it a bit harder. Yeah, dude, Pat, hopefully I'll catch it right when you upload it. I, I want to be the pin comment. <laughs> Swirl says I'm going to make a channel soon. Yeah, dude, I'd go for it. It's pretty fun. This guy says, do you have a guy for sending in bulk? Yeah, so I'm going to partner up with Clay. So many of you guys probably know Clay uh, more so. He, I mean, Clay's here tonight, I think, too. But yeah, I am partnering up with Clay, and we're going to be doing CGC bulk. Sorry, you're making my blasters look like he is in shape. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully the video is not too, too bad. I could try to fix it now if you guys prefer. So yeah, that's Clay right there. He's going to be handling the CGCs. I'm very close to having a 100% complete Pokemon Evolutions Master Set, all PSA 9. Everyone know what I should charge when I go to sell it. That's interesting because they're PSA 9s, huh? Which kind of makes sense because evolutions is super, super hard to grade. Okay, so Ren, good luck. I don't know, Sauger, uh Squeaks has vowed to always be the first to answer all of Pat's videos correctly. Dude, like, actually, I saw that he won the last one, but dude, you know, you, you gotta just, it's whoever strikes first. 
I'm pretty good at guessing the Pokemon cards. I know a lot of Pokemon cards. <laughs> a lot of pack for Evos are like eights. Yeah, no, Derek, that's true. That is very true. Evos is super hard to grade, so that's actually very true. And we kind of show that with all of our express submissions. So it says, you're sorry, how long is the line? Taylor, I'm actually not even sure. I have not even looked at the line yet. <laughs> I'm going to finish up the mails and I'll let you know real quick. Okay, so ran very nice scoring the band cards. I'm going to go live tomorrow. going to add some unique stuff. I'm glad it seems like a fun thing. Pat, you're going to go live on Deepaga Monster or your main channel? Or both. Well, I guess both, right? Because you go live every day on your main channel. Okay, so Rand, I like the green sleeves. Yo, Vince, how's it going? He says, how was your day? Pretty good. Day was pretty good. Work was pretty light today, so pretty nice on that aspect. Is always jacked up on cherry Pepsi. It just is only if I get to the video first. That's that's really where it comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we're gonna add you back here. And let me quickly go edit the spreadsheet. Okay, we got one more package and we'll start getting to orders. There's only about like 15 orders in line right now. So not that bad. Gonna get some shiny V-Boxes coming in tomorrow. I'm gonna end up opening them all because the Japanese arts are so nice. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Right. This next one's coming in for the man Goldie. Goldie, let's see it. This girl says, I also got lucky. Uh, like today, I bought someone's collection for a couple hundred and it has over 300 cards. Whew. So, are there a lot of trainer hollows in the Neo Genesis set? Be right. I don't actually think there's a single one, but there is actually a banned uh, Moomoo Milk card that you want to pull. It's not hollow, though. Rudy, how's it going, my friend? What's up? Goldie says, Champions Path is sold out. Yeah, Goldie, I'm going to have more Champions Paths very, very soon. Very, very soon. Everyone around me wants PSA prices for raw cards. Yeah, Mike, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Uh, yeah, so, Pat, I guess I was, I was creeping around and watching some of your older videos. Dude, I didn't realize you got those base set packs from uh, TCA Gaming. Pretty cool. Well, says, when you're opening up the Neo box, we're opening that up this Saturday. And actually, we've already sold about 30 packs. So there still is about half the box remaining. But like I said, even if we don't sell all 60, um, we're still going to open it anyways. Did you go back to the old mic? Yeah, so I didn't. So the fact that people are saying that makes me feel like I didn't uh, set up the mic very well. <laughs> so maybe I'll try to change that again real quick. So yeah, so let me know guys, if the mic quality is not that great, let me know. This is still the same mic, um, I just must have over tweaked the settings. Hey Chelsea, what's up? That sounds good to me. I hear some cyber voice. It sounds like you were screaming. Okay, so give me a sec, I could probably try to change that, so give me one second.
So what about now? Is it a little better now? Oh, Goldie picking up some CDC slaps. Okay, Goldie, nice. So we got Black Hyrum and we got Muck from the Japanese Fossil. No subgrades. So a little bit of whining up here as well. Definitely looks like it would have got a PSA 8 to be quite frank. Better, much better. Okay, perfect, perfect. It's quiet now. I was in a slab pull game. Okay, gotcha. Super quiet. Okay, give me one sec. Let me try to, try to tweak it just a little bit. Okay, what about now? Any better now? Let me know. I can keep tweaking it, so just keep giving me updates on the sound. Does that card look bent to you? Yes, this actually does look like it has a little bit of a, of a warp. But even similar with PSA, they don't care about warps at all. Better, better, perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And yes, like I said, I'll always just continue to change it up, so. Stay gold, pony boy. <laughs> I can't even hear you now. Pat says, dude, that sounds so good. Word. Thank you, Pat. Awesome. And then hopefully the camera, I did everything hopefully right with the camera as well. So, oh, nice. So we got Mewtwo from Legendary Treasures, and then we got an Evolutions Pidgey. Damn, that is off-centered as shit. Dude, I am so mad these don't have subgrades. That kind of triggers me. I feel like you should always get subgrades. Love to look at CGC slabs. Yeah, so let's take a quick comparison. So let me actually grab a PSA slab. All right, so check it out. So this is a PSA slab. This is a CGC slab. First thing you'll notice is the plastic is so much more clear. If you take a look from the side angle, you can actually fully see the card on the CGC slabs. So I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the PSA labels more, but the actual casings, like the chassis for the cards for CGC, I love way more. So like if they could combine the plastic use for these and the, and the label from that, that'd be the perfect case in my opinion. It's only five extra subgrades. It's pointless not to get them. Yeah, plus it also tells you. Now just the aspect ratio of the camera's off. Yeah, so Pat, I can definitely fix that. The problem with the aspect ratio is I could do it now if you guys want me to. Um, and then that actually might be best. But yeah, so that's the difference between CGC and PSA. Robert says, please do. Okay, give me one sec. Pat, maybe we'll do some some live troubleshooting. So the the main reason, so what I need to do is this, I believe. So what I did is that, and then the aspect ratio went off because I stretched it down similar to the other one. <laughs> Sorry if that's trippy. You guys can see two screens. <laughs> he says, "Are you trying to open up a base set pack for us, dude? No way. I think those base sets are light, so I probably will never open those." What if you just put the overlay over the normal aspect ratio? Oh, okay. All right, I'm liking what you're putting down. All right, what about that? How does that look? Screenception. Um, yeah, wow, that's so cool. I mean, it's so wide. Uh, put the price menu on top of the video layer. Yeah, perfect. Boom, nice. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And so then my hands would be here. Ooh, so then I probably need to just move it closer like this. 
Okay. So sorry, for, sorry for the live, the live changes. But yeah, as always, guys, always looking to improve. So feel free to let me know if something looks off or could be any better. All right, so Goldie, four slabs arrived for you. We got the Muck, Legendary Treasures, Pidgeot, and then a Black Kyra. All right, so CGC. Eh, I mean, I don't know. You used to PSA, but they're really not that bad. <laughs> Goldie, should we try opening one? <laughs> Chris says, this is the best I've ever seen cards look on your stream. Looking good. Okay, perfect. Jacob says, I love the new quality. Reese says, I like CGC a lot. Dang, these are some big... Dude, I know. Yo, you guys never realized how big my hands are. Dude, look. I have huge hands. All right, so hopefully it looks good now. Yeah, so there, we're also in 1080p as well if you want to get in on that. So our first order is for Logan. He orders four hidden face packs. So Logan, I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to get you a sealed tin. Since we're not doing battles anymore, I might as well open the tins in front of you guys. So uh, let me be right back. Alright, so we got a brand new Hidden Fates tin case. Let's do it. Alright, Logan, you are up, my friend. And we're also going to give you that Gary promo, too, so good luck. Squirrel says, when is the Neo break? The Neo break is going to be this weekend on Saturday. So this Saturday. We've already sold about half the box. There are still about half the packs left, obviously. <laughs> I am the Logan Paul. <laughs> are we going to see that Tapu Lele? Dude, Matt, hopefully. So if you guys don't remember, the two last two Charizards we pulled came right after a gold Tapu Lele pull. So hopefully that's what we're going to see tonight. Soccer bro, put the black as a giveaway. Goldie, okay. Okay, Goldie, that's huge. Purple says, fresh case. Sorry if that just hurt you guys' ears. <laughs> that was pretty loud. So guys, as always, let me know if you guys have feedback. Uh, music's too low, too loud. Sounds too low, too high, whatever. Just let me know, and I'll try to make adjustments because I am testing the new setup today. Alpha, how's it going, my friend? Alpha did help me set all this up too, so Alpha, thank you. So yeah, if you do order four Hidden Fates packs tonight, you will get a full tin to yourself. I do also have loose ones that came from tins as well. Sorry, what do you think of the new Shining Fates Shiny Vault? Oh, we got a full art right here. What do we got? Gartana. Okay. First pack magic. So yeah, so do work. To be quite frank, other than the Charizard and anything that came from the Japanese sets, I'm not actually quite sure everything that's in Shining Vault, so I don't actually have a, an informed opinion. Okay, we got the trio de birds. We need an ASMR test. <laughs> Azel says, how is life? Pretty good. How's yours? How are you guys doing tonight? Tom says, the mic sounds amazing now. Now, perfect, perfect. It dropped on Pokey Beach? Oh, okay, let's go take a look together. We're gonna take a look together then. Okay, so Logan, let's get these in your bag and we're gonna take a quick break to look at that new set because I wanna look at it really bad. <laughs> All right, so Logan, full art Kartana. Poke Beach is clutch. I love Poke Beach. I used to check it every day, but 
Nowadays, I'm a lot more busier than I used to be. Alright, let's pop you guys over to Pokey Beach and let's take a look. Oh, here we go. This is what I like to see. Alright, so this is Pokey Beach. If you guys don't know what Pokey Beach is, this website is pretty, pretty nice. Plus, it says Hidden Fates price went up. Yeah, dude, Hidden Fates is getting pretty expensive. Super, super hard to get. Right now, other than the tins, the ETBs, the only thing you can get them from, and those are going for like 180, like 170 to like 200. Oh, shit. Dude, this is going to be so nice. They're doing a re- -up. Oh my god, I need the Suicune. The Suicune from Shiny, Star, uh, from Shiny Star V is basically popping off right now. Love that Suicune. Derek says Suicune is awesome. Dude, Suicune is probably my favorite baby Shiny from Shiny Star V. Okay, I like the love the Lapras, do the ditto. All right, so it's basically just gonna be exactly what was in Shiny Star V. <laughs> My Suicune is at CGC, nice. I have the Suicune, B-Roy, congrats. That Suicune is sweet. All right, so not bad. So basically what you would expect, just a ton of baby Shinies. Ant says, I'm gonna need all of these. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I gotta, now I gotta collect this so I can get the second one. Dude, he looks so derpy, but still so cool, the ditto. And I love this card too. Silvered out. That Lapras is nice too. Yeah, no, I like the Lapras too. So yeah, pretty cool cards. And of course, you have the Charizard. They still have info about the McDonald's promo. Yeah, I saw that right here. But I, I actually saw a video about that. So I was I was uh, privy to that. But yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan of the fast food promos. Personally. All right, up next we got Mike. He says two hidden fates. All right, Mike, let's do it. Do you think this would push down Shiny Star V prices or just increase demand? Zed, I do personally think so. There's either two paths that it's going to happen. Initially, a lot of people are no, gonna, no longer going to want Shiny Star V because Shining Fates is basically the same thing, but in English... So that's usually what happens, but what I'm predicting is that Shining Fates is going to be very, very hard to get your hands on, and in that case, so I'll, I'll give you an example. A lot of people even in this stream told me that they're going for the Japanese Cosmic Eclipse, right? Because the Cosmic Eclipse right now in, in English is too expensive. Tino says, I wonder. I don't think so. They never really have God Packs in English sets, so I wouldn't count on it. All right, so Mike, Pink Fat Boy, and yeah, these uh, packs did come from tins, not the ETBs. So, um, so, uh, Nick, you want a Hidden Fates tin? That's totally fine, but I'm going to give the Garys and the Raichus. So, we're going to start with all the Garys. So, Nick, hopefully that's cool with you. So, you said you don't want the Shining. You want the Hidden Fates instead, which is totally fine. So, let me know if you're cool with that. He says, KK Gary. Okay, perfect. Pokey says, did I read Hidden Fates are back? Yes, I got a bunch of brand new cases of Hidden Fates. Dude, Hidden Fates has shot up so much. Rudy says, night y'all, I'm going to get going early. Got a test in the morning. Yo, Rudy, good luck on your test. Zed says, how much Hidden Fates? 10 Zed, they're just four times the price of a pack. All right, Nick, here we go. Gary coming on out.
Yeah, and of course, Leonard had to drag it out to a 30 to <laughs> Magna Zone. Well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's his full-time job, so he really just, you know, if that's your full-time job, you really gotta try your best to accelerate at it, right? Or to excel. Can't wait for the Hidden Fates restock in EU. I'm hoping that they restock um, ETBs again, because they've gone up a lot. Vaporeon and a Blaine's last stand. What's your most favorite set? My most favorite set's actually Japanese. It's the Japanese VS series. So that would be my favorite, favorite set for sure. Okay, so Nick, a little cold on those. So we already know if we see the Tapu, then we're in uh, we're in good stance. Okay, I'm next. We got Jose. He says three Dragon Ball Z Vicious Rejuvenation and shipping for Mexicoon. Okay, so, um, so Jose, let me know. Um, is me are you gonna always be paying for Mexicoon, or is that gonna be, um, like a one-time thing? I just want to know what to put on his bag. So I want to put his name on his bag so I can find it. So I'd rather not go by his username. So let me know. Karis the Saga, the focus is off. Is it? Sucker, when are we be getting more CP6? Uh, Pokey Adam, not super soon. I really agree the Japanese are underrated and will shoot up in price uh, shortly. Yeah, so the thing with the Japanese is just you got to think about it this way. So, for instance, this is our Japanese Neo Genesis box. We're breaking this on Saturday. So, this is a Japanese box. Most boxes, you know, up until you get to, like, the e-reader sets, like Expedition and so forth, have 60 packs in them. So that is 60 packs. Each single pack has a holographic. This box is going to yield 60 hollows, right? So take so consider that. That's one box, 60 hollows. On the vice versa, we have English sets, which pretty much every single one follows the same trend where there's 36 packs and you only get 12 hollows. So that box gives you 60. This box gives you 12. So the one thing that a lot of people never really think about is that the Japanese hollows, there are a ton more in existence just because of that simple principle that I just showed you now, right? So when you talk about vintage Japanese, now no one really knows the print runs for sure, and that's an important number to get to, but just speaking like facts, you know, the, the Japanese boxes have more hollows, so. I'm Jose Mendo. Um, so Mexican equals Jose Mendo. Oh, okay, so, so you're Jose. Okay, so you're Jose. Gotcha. Okay. You got you got me convinced Japanese is the better investment and the quality is 100% better. Well, yeah, so I'll put it this way, right? So Japanese is I still think it's a good investment. There are downfalls to it just like everything else. There's also benefits. The main benefit with the Japanese stuff right now is that they're not as expensive as the English. So when it comes to risk versus benefit, you also, you know, are typically spending less for the if you want to call them assets uh, than you would be if, you know, you were buying an English set. So that's one of the benefits as well. So did you see that Guru was flexing on IG that he got the serial Pikachu? I saw that, Duwerk. I did. And said it was going to be worth 10k. Dude, I mean, Duwerk, that's pretty much what he's been doing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not surprised at all. But yeah, I did see that actually. So I already Vemmed you 36 for Shining Legends and a Unified Minds. Can I send out 36 and just go all in for Hidden Fates? Then? Zed, yes, you can. You can. Salsa. I like that salsa. Yo, Lalo, how's it going, my friend? What's up? Trey says, what's the land looking like? Trey, it's not that bad at all, actually. It's only about, like, 15 orders. So it's not that long at all. This is, I already know uh, you answered this. Yeah, I am getting Shiny Star V, but it's coming 
it's coming from Japan, so it's gonna take a while to get here. Um, I also am getting uh, what's it called? Tag team per, or tag team all stars too. So. Okay, Jose, there you go. Alright, up next we got B-Roy. He says two Shining Legends for Squirtle. So Squirtle, you are up. Squirtle, don't go to sleep yet. We got you two Shining Legends. Okay, Squirtle. I got you two Ray Ray packs. So hopefully we'll pull you that Ray Ray, because I know we all like Ray Ray. February 27th, Dogo Chasing Waterfalls. Raikou and a Marsh Shadow. So Squirtle, these are for you. And we got the Larvesta and a Raikou. All right, so squirt a little cold. Uncle Ray Ray's got a game. <laughs> Chris, is everyone else having issues with the focus? Yeah, so is it out of focus for you guys? All right, up next, we got Zach with a hidden fate stick. Zach, good luck. We got you the Gary Gare. Chris says, looks good to me. It's probably a resolution. So I also did actually put the stream on ultra, ultra fast latency. That way the chats come quicker. Green says, please search Discord when you can. Okay. Yeah, so Green, is it just regarding the stuff that I got you? Green, if that, it's just regarding going first, we got you right now. You can update the settings so the uh, the um, ap aperture is higher and more area is in focus. Okay. I'll have to do that. So, Pat, I did download the capture software. Or, like, driver, whatever you want to call it. All right. So, Zach, let's do it. Mike, I'm calling it early. Good luck on the pulse tonight, everyone. See you on the next stream. Mike, have a good night. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Decidueye. Nice. All right. So, Zach, pulling out the full art Decidueye. Keyshawn, how's it going? I just found the deep pocket. Yeah, so Pat, congrats, Pat. You're almost at 3K subs. So Pat, keep killing it, brother. You're doing pretty good. Pat's videos are insane. So guys, if you're not already subbed to Deep Pocket Monster, that is Pat's Pokemon channel. He's almost at 3K subs. So make sure we help a brother out. Pat says, I'll send you a screenshot for later. Pat, perfect. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. Icy says, I feel like I've peaked on this channel in Pokemon. Nothing lives up to the... Yeah, Icy. <laughs> I see. That's kind of true. I see. You did kill it. I see. Good to see you, my friend. If I don't get an Elekid common from the Neo Pack, someone traded with me. Yeah. So also, so um, Juan. In case you didn't hear Juan, I did get your payment for the Neo Pack as well. So Juan, you are in for the break uh, this Saturday. All right. So Zach, there we go. Full art decidui. All right, up next, we got Eduardo. He says five darkness and one maximum gold. Eduardo, let's do it. I just started Game of Thrones. Cherisy, just now? Really? I really like Game of Thrones. It was pretty good. I want that sexy Lugia. And we get a Scizor. 
Dude, Lugia is better than Ho-Ho. Change my mind. Change my mind. Dracovish and a Staraptor. Got the Stunfish. Great idea. I plan on doing a super deep dive on a single common Pokemon, like a Weedle or something. Pat, that would be interesting. I wonder how you can do that on a common card. That'd be that'd be insane. Like a whole story about Weedle. Thrones was the best show ever um, until they rushed the last season. Actually, so Game of Thrones, I don't think I've actually seen the last season. All right, we got Alistair, the Invoker, and a Reinforcement of the Arms. Okay. Dunho says, how do I buy? Uh, you need either Venmo or PayPal. The information's in the description of the live. Saunders says, Slugger, don't want... Really? Because I, I watched it before it was finished. So I was like having to keep up with it and I sort of just lost. I opened up another 17 pack sword and shield today and got one V card. Amanda, yikes. All right. So Eduardo, let's get these in here. And he says, shout out to Zeus's family. Gabriel, yeah, you can. Gabriel, you can. Did you watch my staff cards video? Yes, Pat, I did. Pat, I did. Dude, Pat, that was pretty nuts, dude. The fact that you like showed, you have, I don't know how you get these clips, bro. Like, you showed, like, a tournament. You had so many cuts. Dude, Pat, you do a really good job, bro. I How long does it take you to make a video, Pat? Let's, let's be honest. Those are, so like, so much is put into that. How long does it take? All right, up next, we got Squirtle with 10 Shining Legends. Alan, how's it going? He says, what's up, fam? Two, four, six, and eight. I uh, don't know. You just got to download Discord and that's it. Chanel, how's it going? So yeah, if you just download Discord, it's a free application. You can just download it and then just send me a private message. Shiny Legends of Stocks? Dude, Chanel, I know. I know. Volcarona and a Raikou. So I did check both of our express missions that are currently at PSA. They are both just in the grading phase still. Manaphy and a Verizian. Me only like three hours per video. My editor who helps, 20 hours. Well, <laughs> I'm glad the editor spends a lot of time. But yeah, Pat, those are pretty insane videos. So keep it up. I do I do really enjoy watching them. Finally, tomorrow I get my Best Buy order. Latios and a Scraggy. Shining Legends aged well. Honestly, Chanel, I always knew it would. I always knew it would. I do kick myself for not holding on to my ETBs. Shining Legends acting like GameStop. <laughs> and we got a Mewtwo. I opened up two Tag Team Tins and I got nothing. Rip. It's, it's got to be pretty fluent for Pla uh, Fat to do his videos at this point. He does it one-handed. <laughs> Latios and a Switch. Oh, here we go. And a Mewtwo Full Art. Damn. Okay, so Squirtle, not a single Shining in sight, but we did get you the double Mewtwo. Yeah, you know, Pat, sometimes I'm pretty impressed with how deep you go, too. Like, something like, dude, this guy went deep. Just says Generations 2. Yeah, no, Schnell's Generation is doing pretty good. 
I don't think it, it, it is doing pretty good, but I don't think it's as did as well as Shining Legends. It's not that, I don't think it's in that high demand, but it is definitely gotten a lot more expensive. The next video, I'm going to go even deeper, dude, Pat. I, I don't know, man, I don't get the video notifications. Like, I feel like I don't get them right away. Now I know what people, <laughs> people feel all the time. Alright, up next, we got Leon. He says, three Darkness Ablaze and three Vicious Rejuvenation. Leon, let's do it. I keep hearing Cannon um, for some reason. Squirrel says, I didn't watch the polls. Squirrel, it was probably better that you did it, <laughs> to be honest. Tom says, Squirrel, don't watch it. Have you ever opened up the Dragon Ball Z Tau Tau Permanent of Power? Nowhere, man, I have not actually opened up one myself. I was pretty late to the Dragon Ball Z game. A pinch and a Daramanton. Okay, so darkness, a cold. All right, let's hop into your vicious rejuvenation now. Kind of basic question, but do I just click the royalty gaming account on Discord and then yes, so you can just right click me royalty gaming and just send me a private message. That's all. I just need your full name, address, and email. The email is important because that's how the tracking will be sent. So when I ship your stuff, you'll get a tracking number via email. We got Toa, Dimensional Convoker. Alright, so this set does have God Packs. So hopefully we get one soon, because God Packs are fun. So how much GameStop are you investing in? Do work, not much. Not much. I usually I usually try to stay away from like abnormalities because I don't know uh, they they make me uncomfortable. Any seal box breaks? I uh, don't know. We're doing a Neo Genesis box break uh, this Saturday. Japanese though. You're gonna get any Ultra Prism and uh, what is cost for pack? I totally I don't know. I don't have any plans for Ultra Prism, but you never know. But I don't have plans for Ultra Prism as it stands. So Leon, here we go. So yeah, as it stands, I mean, dude, when I see things like that, I don't know. I feel like if I hopped in now, it would just be too bad. Too late. Okay, so Green, your turn is now up. Let me uh, read the Discord message. Um, um, so green, I'm confused. <laughs> green, what do you want in total? So green, feel free to send me a message. What What is it that you want in total? Green says Hidden Fates 10 and Vivid Box and the one Vivid for the giveaway. Okay. Okay, so Hidden Fates, 10 Vivid Voltage Box, and 1 Vivid Voltage for the giveaway. Okay. Does that work? Um, yeah, green, I, I think so. So you want a, a, a Vivid Box and then a 10, right?
We says, can I keep the Gyarados? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Green, let's let's get it done. Alright, so green, we're gonna hop into your vivid voltage first. In fact, I should open this off the table. I just I just cleaned the table. Alright. So green, let's do it. Got all the Pokemon powder. Okay, so green, we're gonna hop into your vivid voltage and then we're gonna go into the hidden fates. Okay, good luck. It's like, here we go. Gotta start slanging the white powder. Tom, I really should. <laughs> I'll become a millionaire. I'll be like the, the ruler of the cartel. So guys, be on the lookout. I am, we're, I've started working on a Pokemon quiz today. It's not fully done. I'm gonna probably make it 30 to 40 questions. Uh, but it actually is pretty hard coming up because I've done so many quizzes now and I don't really try to reuse any of my old questions. So it does take a little bit more time uh, every time I'd make a new one, but I'm pretty much like halfway through it. So I'll probably finish that up tomorrow. So be on the lookout for it Because um, we are gonna do the box break Saturday. So maybe Friday Or actually maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll do the quiz who knows but be on the lookout for a notification Because we are gonna do a Pokemon quiz pretty soon. So if you do like that stuff, uh, you're in you're in for surprise Go three days without sleep on white powder <laughs> Rand says, no, do something other than Pokemon questions. So, Rand, I was thinking about it. Nice, Jirachi. All right. I was thinking about it, and dude, I don't know. Like, if I don't do Pokemon, there's so many different areas that I can make questions about. Zed said, I love the last quiz. Nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, yeah, I'm going to do another quiz. Should be pretty good. Leon and Explout. Vic said, did I go yet? Vic, you have not gone yet, unfortunately. Mudbray and Lucario. Robert says, what's the quiz for? Ah, uh, Robert, usually I just come up with something to give away as a prize. So the winner does get a prize. And of course, it's free to play. Hey, Danny, what's up? And we got Zacian and the Ampharos. So the both amazing rares were actually on the same side of the box, huh? So check out all that white powder. Pretty crazy. Okay, so we're not even halfway through the box, and we pulled two amazing rares. Now, we actually have seen a box with multiple amazing rares, so we might pull three. Who knows? Who knows? Genesect and Electros. I'd like to throw some of the trash away. Tom says, I've heard of four in a box. Yeah, Tom, I actually, I saw, I saw a box being opened where they pulled four. So, yeah. And zero. Yeah, Tom, luckily we've never gotten zero, but we have gotten a box with only one before. Or Beetle. Andrew, how's it going, my friend? What's up? He says, yo, yo. Dusclops and Explout. Oh, here we go. Rainbow or Beetle. All right, so very nice. We do end up pulling a rainbow rare. Of course, not every box even has a rainbow rare. So not bad at all. The orb beetle. Yeah, Keyshawn, that's fine. I've opened six Vibushu boxes. only gotten two each time. Thankfully, not zero. Yeah, so thankfully, not zero. But yeah, usually it's two. Like, pretty much 90% of the time will be two, but, you know, there's always some, some times where it's more or less. Two is just the average. All right, green. Let's see if we can pull you a gold card as well. Gravantula and a Par Seeker. Okay, we got Opal. We got Mrs. Pinocchio in the house. Opal Full Art. All right, where are my Opal lovers at? Can you say, Heather, shut up? My girlfriend is nagging. <laughs> Heather, leave Andrew alone. Nah, I'm playing. Andrew, show us your girlfriend some love. Got Talonflame. 
Tom says Opal is Bay. Wife your status. Bordell says I do her. All right, Bordell, I see you. I see you. I'll set you up, Bordell. I got her number. Okay, so we still do have some more packs, but let me just go ahead and clear up the table just a little bit. Give me six beers and she starts to look like Marnie. <laughs> this is, how's it going, my friend? What's up? I like Opal, little gr little granny gray hips. Oh, nice. We got a Charizard. Man, it's like gold card now. Opal the type to pay your rent. <laughs> Opal's a sugar mama. Sogar, is your girlfriend single? Well, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, whoa, we did get you another amazing rare. Nice. Let me go grab another pack of sleeves. That's three amazing rares. Nice, green. All right, so green, you've now hit three amazing rares. Nice. Can we get you four? So keep in mind, there are only six amazing rares. So pulling three of them literally just means you got half of the Amazing Rare set right now. Trumbeak. All right, Green, we have like five packs left. Let's do it. We got to kill it. Togekiss. Clay says, dang, good box. Yeah, no, absolutely lovely box. If we can pull a gold card now too, this would be pretty nuts. I'm really, really hoping for another amazing rare. C dot and two cannon. I thought the music was Sagar heavy breathing. <laughs> I just started hyperventilating. <laughs> All right, green last pack magic. Can we do it? Come on, give us four. Bay and a shiftry. Okay, so green, no four amazing rares, but three still very nice, so we'll take that for sure. Sagar's a mouth breather. Okay, so green, let's take a review on how many hits you got out of that box, because that was pretty nutty. Alright, so let's see. One, two, three. I'm not gonna count the Charizard. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. That is super nice. Raikou, Zashian, and Jirachi. That's pretty good, actually. Nice. Green, that was a pretty excellent box. All right, so Green, I know we still have your Hidden Fates tin as well, but I want to go ahead and grab your baggie real quick. I'm going to make you another bag for the bulk as well. But let's head into your, let's head into your Hidden Fates. Super nice booster, now the Hidden Fates. Jeff, how's it going? Dude, Jeff, that video of your son opening the Charizard, bro, that was super nice. So, Jeff, I enjoyed watching that video, man. Thanks for posting it. Trying to get a PSA 10 full art, so this works. Am I up soon? Mustafa, you are actually up pretty soon. All right. Green, let's do it. All right. Okay, green. Can we pull through? Saying Mustafa makes me cringe even though that's my name. <laughs> nice, Rainbow to Birds and a Lucario. <laughs> Saying my name makes me cringe. Please just call me Pokey Adam. Okay, you got it. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Oh, here we go. Ho ho, nice. Okay, green, you are murdering tonight. Very, very nice. Got a dumb question. What are you using to capture the card openings? Your phone or a camera? Actually, it's a webcam uh, that was actually got, or so Pat got the webcam for me. It's called a Brio. I think is how you pronounce it. Akoni, how's it going? He says Alola. Alo <laughs> Aloha, not Alola. I'm thinking a Lolan Pokemon. Aloha. All right, so green, pretty nice. And I'm gonna make you another bag for the bulk. He says Alola. It's like it's like saying Mary Chrysler. <laughs> Mary Chrysler. So guys, I am super super pumped for this Neo box break this Saturday. Neo is such a beautiful beautiful set. That's a Neo Pat. Congratulations, dude. Pat, nice. Just hit 3K subs. Pat, congrats, bro. That's huge. All right, up next we got Pokey Adam. He says one vivid. Green says, "Don't forget packs for the giveaway." Yeah, so Green, I'm gonna have to quickly just recheck <laughs> what the total was, so just so I can check and see what you've said. Cause not gonna, not gonna lie, Green, I was a little confused. All right, so Adam, kind of cold. All right, up next, we got Taylor with one Darkest of Blaze. Taylor, let's do it. Done Sparse and a Leopard. Pat says, I'm not sure. Pat, don't worry about it, brother. You're good. All right, Taylor, that was kind of icy. All right, up next, we got Amanda. She says, eight sun and moon. So, Amanda, I, I see that you wrote sword and shield, but I think you, you paid for the sun and moon, right? Amanda, just confirm me if you want. I'm pretty sure that you paid the for eight sun and moon, but you said sword and shield. So, just, I guess, confirm me if you can. Um, hit full art Pikachu seeker from a Dollar Tree cost. Nice, dude. That's huge, Alan. Nice. Did you have to buy the whole booster? Did you have to buy the whole box? And my cold streak continues. Jesse, how's it going, my friend? Man says no sword and shield. Okay, so man, a sword and shield is five. Oh no, it's four a pack, right? Let me see. I gotta remember my price. Yeah, so man, a sword and shield is five a pack. So. Um, so yeah, so that'd be six and two extra. Pokey Radar is streaming a cotton of Dark Charizard. Um, yeah, so Amanda, what I'll do is I'll just give you, so six, so six times five, and I'll throw in a sun and moon. So that's fine on me if you're cool with that. So Amanda, if you're cool with that, I'll just do that. So that way I just gave you a little bit extra. So Amanda, if you're cool with that, we got you the uh, five sword and shield and then an extra sun and moon.
This is sorry. Yeah, no matter. No problem. Just want to make sure you're cool with that. But we'll continue. We'll start opening up with your sun and moon or sword and shield. Long line? No, not that long at all. We probably got like 10 to 15 orders. Sun and Moon is low-key decent. Actually, yeah, I don't know. I actually agree with you. Sun and Moon has some pretty nice cards. Those full art uh, full art energies are absolutely phenomenal. Here we go. Here we go. And we got the Ston Jurner VMAX coming out of the Sword and Shield. So, uh, man, says I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, man, no problem. Okay, so Judy, are you ready to murder it tonight, Judy? Judy's always pulling fire, so Judy, I'm excited. Any idea on the time for the box break Saturday? Yeah, so Ian, I live on the East Coast, and I know a lot of people also sort of live on the um, West Coast, so I think they're like three hours behind. So I might try to do it around like eight my time. I think that might be like a good time. Or like nine-ish, eight to nine my time. Okay, man, I almost forgot. Your Sun and Moon pack as well. Zero says, I placed two orders, five plus eight Sun and Moon packs. Can you put them together if there's no problem with that? Uh, Gabriel, there is a problem. Unless they are right next to each other, I can't do that. But if they are right next to each other, then you will get them together, yes. Ian says, I may or may not be drinking some beers watching a Pokemon opening then. <laughs> Ian, nice. <laughs> Alright, up next we got my man Vic. He says, five Dragon Ball Z rejuvenation. Ryan, how's it going? He says, how much are the packs for the Brock break? Ryan, they're 300 apiece. Vic says, I need that Majin Buu. Yeah, so Vic, actually, the other... So the Waifu card's actually the most expensive. But yeah, Majin Buu's number two. And quite frankly, I like the Majin Buu card a lot more, too. How do you store those packs in the back? Those are in a team bag. So those are in a ultra... Or those are actually in a um, perfect fit team bag. So like the ones I would use for uh, PSA slabs. And then there's a top or a uh, semi-rigid behind it to sort of give it support. So I can show you a close-up if you'd like. Oops. Sorry about that. So here's my base up pack. So as you can see on the back here, you can see like ultra. So I put a little semi-rigid to uh, basically just keep it nice and firm. And then that's it. And I put it in one of these actually. So they're the um, cardboard gold perfect fit sleeves for PSA. And that's what I use for my slabs. And I also use those for my pack. All right. Regular, let's do it. Do you have any idea on the next box break? I hope it's in English, though. Yeah, so it most likely will be English, unless my plans fall through. We got a Piccolo Jr. Just a reminder that all Sun and Moon base is mappable. Just be careful buying loose packs. Actually, Jarek, those came from ETBs. I think, right? I've had those for a very, very long time. We got Sun Goku. The heavy hitter. But yeah, so pretty excited. Alan's like, Clay, where you at? What do you plan on doing with those first edition packs? Uh, Alec, those aren't first edition. Those are just uh, unlimited base set packs. They aren't first edition. Um, what do I plan on doing with them? Just sort of keeping them. Just keeping them in my collection. Pat says, what do you mean mappable? Pat, mappable basically just means... Oh, nice! Omega Shenron allies absorbed. Nice, dude. Great pull. Oh. Uh, Pat, mappable just means that, for instance, a card will be in, like, the same spot every time. So, like, if you open up a booster box, and let's just say every time you open up that box, the first pack on the right has a hit, then that means it's, like, mappable. And usually it goes further than that. It's not just one card. But, um, yeah, so that's what mappable means. just means you can, like, search it. So you can figure out where the good cards are and then sell off all the ones without hits.
Rand says they're socket up my guy. Rand, maybe Rand. We'll, we'll talk more about that. I'm down. I heard that the amazing rares and invisible should. Yeah, but Tom, I feel like I've actually experimented with that on stream. It's like, well, we used to, so when Vivid Voltage first came out, we would open up just booster box after booster box, like per person would get a booster box. And I, I didn't see any patterns. I, I thought I did at first, but then it was really different. All right, up next, we got Judy. Three unified minds, three unbroken bonds, and one hidden dates. Judy about to take me on a date. <laughs> Judy, maybe that was too much. All right, three unified minds. Three unbroken bonds. And one hidden fates. Will you be getting Shiny Star V? Yes, but it's coming from Japan, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, let's do it. Um, I was against doing another mystery box video, but the algorithm is picking it up so hard that I do another one. I'll probably mention giving it away so people will feel like it's theirs and stay. Pat, that's actually not a bad idea. Well, Pat, you already Pat, honestly, if you're gonna do a mystery box, Pat, I would suggest like reaching out to like a YouTuber and try to get a good box. <laughs> you know what I mean? Try to get one where you're not gonna get ripped off. Alex is awesome, I'll buy a pack when they come. Yeah, so I'll have Shiny Star V and also Tag Team All Stars. Do you legitimately have English Shining Fates packs, or are they the Japanese ones? I don't have Shining Fates. I don't have Shining Fates. Shining Fates is not out. Bell Sprout and Weezing. Ralph, how's it going? He says, hey, mate, Pokemon collector from New Zealand. Nice. Um, I found you on Pokemonomics channel. Nice. Yeah, Jake's pretty cool. Um, any advice for someone looking to get to pack breaks? Um, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're talking about getting packs on this channel, um, you know, you're more than welcome to if you're, even though you're in New Zealand. The shipping will usually be around, like, $14 to New Zealand, though. Normalium and a Whimsicott. Oh, no. Judy! Pat says thanks. Yeah, Pat, absolutely. Pat, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. <laughs> I still use that playlist to this day, Pat. I'll probably use it forever. All right, Judy, you're hitting fates. Jolteon and a Mew. Damn, Judy, that was icy. All right, up next, we got Alec with a Hidden Fates tip. Pat says, you're going to get me a mystery box. Pat, honestly, I could, but it'd be mostly Japanese stuff, dude. <laughs> so unless you want Japanese stuff, then maybe I'm not the best. But I could I could probably whip up a nice mystery box. I'd make it extra juicy for you. <laughs> that sound is so sexual, Pat. Tell, tell your wife I'm sorry. All right, Alec, let's do it. When is the next Hidden Fates battle? Ah, uh, Blue Noodles, we are discontinuing the battles for just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright. Ship, it was me first time, so I don't really know what I was doing. That it looked like it was the best package. It said turn around time. Alright. 
Misty's Water Command and a Fairy Energy. Shiny Baby Magneton. Do you need a con- Dude, actually, the, the Pokeju, I do know the Pokeju. He has a lot of stuff too, Pat. Pokeju has a lot of English stuff. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. And it's a full art Lycanroc. All right. Pokeju is legit. Yeah, he is, he is. He's got a lot of stuff. I'll be back later. Pat, have a good dinner, my friend. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so Alec, we did get you that full art. The Pokédu does roulettes, really. Okay, so Alec, not too shabby. Up next, we got my man Eric. He says 10 sword and shield. Alex says, how much do you sell the shiny V for? Um, Alec, it's usually like $16. Or that's what it was in the past. All right, 10 sword and shield for the man Eric. That's why I didn't in summon forage. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, Eric, let's kill it. It's kind of like a dumpling buffet. It's like Chinese small plates, usually steamed. Robert, how's it going? Got a Keldeo. Yes, the gold dogs do come out of sword and shield. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, Eric. Oh, let's go, baby. Waifu tax season. We got the full art rainbow Marnie. That is what I am talking about. Oh, Eric. Nice, bro. A little bit thicker on that side for sure. But that is what you want to see. The rainbow, the rainbow waifu. Let's go. All right, Eric. Already killed it. Tom's like, damn, that's got to be worth some coin. Dude, you are murdering it, bro. I think every pack has had a hit so far. Wobbuffet, nice. And just like that, you rich. <laughs> Toxic Croak, send a Scorch. So if you guys are new to the channel tonight, feel free to drop a like on the video. If you guys don't already know, we do giveaways every time we surpass 100 likes. So make sure you guys do smash that like button for me if you are enjoying this stream. Waifu stonks. Kufin and the Kaparaja. Kamar says, I like the video. Thank you. What pack is the Marty from? Amanda, that is Sword and Shield. Oh, we got you another hit. Okay, got the Snorlax. All right. Okay, Eric, last pack. A Rangaroo and a Stan Janna. Okay. All right, Eric, nice pulls, dude. And as always, guys, if you guys do want your verses and hollows, you absolutely can have them. Just please, if you do want them, sorry, I'm pretty sure you don't, but if you do want those, make sure you include it in your note. They are free to have. Just got to let me know you want them.
do you recommend booster packs or starter decks i recommend booster packs starter decks are better if you are searching to play the game so if you're trying to play the game then the starter deck's not a bad idea okay up next we got jb he says four hidden fates and 10 vicious rejuvenation jb let's do it All right, JB, let's kill it. Okay, so we got the cry chew in the back there. Chris says, Sog, your streams are fire as always. Thanks for the content. Chris, thanks for being here, my friend. Thanks for the kind words as well. Who says, now the eBay link. Ah, uh, Woozy, the eBay link is just an affiliate link. So if you guys want to support the channel without, you know, indirectly support the channel and you're going to buy stuff on eBay anyways... Uh, make sure you guys click that eBay link in the description. It'll bring you to eBay, and you can just search up what you're looking for, buy it, and then the channel gets a small kickback at no extra cost to you. So if you guys are going to shop on eBay, feel free to use the affiliate link, and it helps the channel out. Do we know what day Neo is? Yeah, Mitch, it's going to be Saturday. This Saturday. Go click that link, and then go bid on my... <laughs> Do you guys think the Special Delivery Pika is going to go up or down? Serious question. What do you guys think about Special Delivery Pika? Alright, JB, let's do it. Can we get you the God Pack? Okay, we got Kakao. And King Piccolo, the evil dictator. Come on, Piccolo ain't that evil. I might as well buy Raymond Chu. I can't find that <laughs> bastard anywhere. Got med matcha. Anime says down a little, then go back up. Chris says down, unfortunately. I think they'll go up. All go up in time. Stonks only go up, boys. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Trunks and launch the pure hearted. All right, we haven't pulled that one before. Nice. Yo, Alexis, how's it going, my friend? How you doing? SD Charizard is going to be where it's at. SD. Invader of the Earth. What people are paying for the delivery Pikachu is absolutely ridiculous. We got Krillin and nice. Sun Goku eye for an eye. All right. Got the OG Goku as a kid. I'm starting to wonder, Tom, they definitely will. They definitely will. The Pokemon company is very, very backed up right now. Whether they're backed up or not, even if they are just waiting, they are not releasing any new products right now. Like, there is... N oh. There is nothing... Okay, that sleeve has a malfunction. <laughs> They are not releasing, like, anything. So if you contact the distributor right now, they have nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's kind of sad. We got Diaz. Alexis, I'm doing good. Alexis, nice to hear that. Good to hear. I buy some packs tonight, but I'm already broke. Yeah, don't worry about it. And nice. Give you a new transformation. Now, that is a super rare. Or, I mean, a special rare. Excuse me. Okay, so we got Ginyu acting as Goku. Nothing is an understatement. It's nuts. Soul cleansing machine. We got that Vegeta. All right. JB, no God pack. Oh, but nice. We got Gogeta. The Fatal Fusion. I guess Pika price is nothing compared to the upcoming... Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say next is... Yeah, you think the Pika's bad? Wait till you see the Charizard. I'm sure the Charizard will go nuts. Alright, so JB. We got you a tin as well, though.
Yeah, Jamie, I'm actually just gonna make your brand new bag instead of squeeze one. Oh, says my local game store has the actually alpha. I know what you're talking about. I don't think there's actually like any good packs in there. I feel like I've looked at that before because the Pokemon Center restocked those actually. All right, JB, the Hidden Fates tin. Let's do it. One says, yes, Juan. It is, dude. It is. It is, man. Sorry to say, but it is. But yeah, Juan, whenever there's updates on the PSA, I pretty much always make a post on Facebook and on Discord too. So you will get a notification when it's done, hopefully on either one of those. All right. Juan says, for sure. Yeah, Juan, sorry that it's taking so long, but it's really kind of out of my hands. People are buying out even Rebel Trash. Honestly, dude, it's because nothing else is available. Everything has just been going up. Oh, very nice, JB. Pulling out the Eevee. Very, very nice. Whew. Okay, that's a good baby shiny. Oh, what do we got there? Oh, is that what I think it is? Yo. <laughs> it's, oh, I thought it was going to be Cynthia. I was incorrect. Okay, but still very good. A full art trainer. Okay, so far so good. If we can pull you a full art shiny as well, this is going to be an amazing tin. Toga's Trap and the Eevee. Makari is an app or a marketplace like Offera. Mr. Mime and Clefable. Alright, so JB, not bad. Ian says, how many hits? Yes, yeah, so Ian, usually you, you would hope to get one, but sometimes you don't get any, sometimes you get two, and sometimes we've even seen, like, two, I actually, I think it was Goldie who pulled two full arts and a gold card out of one tin. <laughs> so it's a little random, but you would hope for at least one. All right, up next, we got Austin. He says, five hidden fates. Okay. Austin, let's do it. Is Vakari trustworthy? Um, it really just kind of depends on the seller. Nice. Got the shiny baby foible. Oh, here we go. Nice. Full art Noivern. Okay. Very hot. Dude, I feel like a lot of people don't give Noivern a lot of credit. It's pretty cool. Peter says, the most underrated Pokemon YouTuber. Peter, you talking about me? <laughs> Peter's like, no, nah, I'm not talking about you. I bought two Charizard tins to gain stop, and only my hit was one. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Weezing and a Metapod. Okay, awesome. There you go. And also, Giovanni's Exile has gone up a lot, too. So, everything Hidden Fates, even the baby shinies are starting to go up, too. So, Hidden Fates is finally starting to make its move up, too. So, that's pretty good.
All right, up next, we got Judy with four hidden fates and two unbroken bombs. Jars, how's it going, my friend? He says, does Walmart still sell the Charizard? Uh, no, I don't think they do, actually. I think the only product you'll find, possibly, are the ETBs, but even then, you probably won't find those. Do you do evolutions? Ah, uh, Peter, we will have evos back in stock very soon. We did sell it recently, so we'll have soon. Why are CP full arts so cheap? Jacob, that's because the only real thing you want out of CP are the Charizards. Alan says, I got a dip. Have a good night. Yo, Alan, have a good night, friend. Thanks for stopping by. My local Walmart um, run ahead and face tins, uh, Evo Canto. It's hit or miss. All right, let's hop into your broken bonds first, Judy. Let's hopefully get some good hits this time. Oh, nice. Marshadow and Machamp. What's the most expensive pack that you carry um, that you can buy? Probably the Jap or Japanese Gym 2, maybe. Fair 2, Meta Meowstic. All right, Judy, let's hop into your hidden fates. Baby Shiny Routes. Oh, here we go. Nice. That is a really, really good full art. Greninja. Nice. So Greninja, I think they did a uh, poll, right? Who's the most popular Pokemon? And wasn't it Greninja in Japan? Didn't they vote Greninja as the most popular Pokemon in Japan? See, Kaiser says, I love this channel. See, thank you. Is there a him on lean, him on chan full art tag team? Because I need that. Ian, I don't think there is. And we got an Onyx. All right. Not bad, actually. That was a pretty good tip. Jolly says, if we want to buy, do you send you a message on Discord? Uh, Jolly, you, what you, whatever, when you, when you want to buy, Jolly, you just put that in the notes of your payment. On Discord, you should message me your full name, address, and email. But uh, with, for in terms of what packs you want, you just put that in your note. And if it's your first time buying packs, you do need to add an extra $5 for shipping just on your first purchase. Up next, we got Gabe releases five Sun and Moon. Gabe, let's do it. Who says to hit you up on the Discord? Ah, uh, no, Woozy. You don't need to hit me up on... Well, you do need to hit me on Discord to get me your full name, address, and email. Uh, but to buy packs, you need to just send over payment to Venmo or the PayPal. Everything's in the description. But I need your address and things and where to ship on Discord. But in terms of what packs you want, you just put that in the uh, note. Of whatever payment method you're using. Skarmory and Abdominal. Masquerade and a Primarina. There we go. Lunala. Okay. Bond Suite and a Stoutland. Okay. All right, so Gabe, Lunala GX.
Okay, up next we got Eduardo. He says two darkness and one Yu-Gi-Oh gulp. All right, Eduardo, let's do it. Where do you find the description? I do not know how to. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're on the YouTube app, you should be able to sort of just go. Oh. Okay, this is looking. Oh. We got Zodiac and a miscellaneous sore. <laughs> that looks pretty dope. The black and the gold definitely look super nice together. Miscellaneous source. One says, I'm trying to see a Zarya pulled one. Yeah. I mean, dude, two nights ago, we pulled both of the CP Zarts in one stream. Sorry, when you go to Japan, uh, be sure to take two large empty suitcases to stock up. <laughs> Checking baggage is cheaper than shipping. Honestly, dude, I definitely would. Like, pa uh, no, no joke, I would. Like, quite frankly, Japan would be less of a vacation, more of a Pokemon. I guess it'd kind of be a vacation still, too. Bryce, the CP was really hot that night. It really was. It really, really was. CP's usually not like that, so that was really good. So, like, my Discord has been messed up a little bit uh, for a fat minute, so can I possibly send all the info needed through Messenger? Yeah, Chris, you can send it to me on Facebook as well. That works, too. I might go to Japan when this is all over. Dude, we're going we're gonna to have a royalty party over in Japan. All right, up next, we got JB. He says, 10 packs of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Maximum gold. JB, let's do it. All right, JB, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, maximum gold has some really, really hot cards in this set. Some really, really nice cards. They have Dark Magician. They have Blue Eyes. They have Red Eyes. Dode. So, JB, good luck. I asked my tax account if I could write out Pokemon cards. He says, yes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we got Chaos Dragon Levenir. Oh, speaking of the Dark Magician. Yo, let's go. If that doesn't just scream old school. I mean, then again, it's very shiny. Check that out. So shiny. Whew. Dark Magician, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Whew. Speaking of the Dark Magician. Very, very nice. So Dark Magician is very nice. Actually, the most expensive card in this set is the Blue Eyes. So the Blue Eyes White Dragon, definitely the most expensive. But Upside Down and a Cosmos Town. What is this? True Phantom Knight of the Rusty... Bardosh. Bardich. Okay. So just like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! has upside down cards too sometimes. <laughs> Alpha says, I still think that's like $20. $20. Nostalgia, baby. How's it going, Nostalgia? <laughs> Elemental Hero Stratos. Oh, a polymerization. Nice, dude. That's why I specifically chose this set, because it has such old-school cards. Dude, polymerization. Come on. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was younger, so this set is super nice. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> now, if only they had Time Wizard. That card brings back memories. Yeah, dude, it really does. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time. Herald of the Arclight. And a Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. He says, that drool. <laughs> Squirtle says, did I miss my turn? Squirtle, we open up 10 Shining Legends for you. Other than that, I don't know. So if you had a different order, Squirtle, then you're probably coming up. 
And we got Elder and Te Elder Enti and a Cosmo Town. I just ate Andy till <laughs> I ate candy till I got a stomach ache. Joey Wheeler, baby, baby drag. Okay, I got a bad Joey Wheeler voice. He's got that. He's got that gnarly like Brooklyn accent. I got I got Pegasus accent down. Yugi boy. <laughs> Oh, right here. We got Harpy Feather Duster and Anti-Magic Arrows. Okay. Harpy Feather Duster. But I'll kill a whole thing of Oreos. Dude, honestly, my favorite, like, random snack to eat are, like, the vanilla wafers. I freaking love those things. Only anime with a New Yorker. Oh, Monster Reborn. And a Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Dude, Monster Reborn. Target one monster in either graveyard. Dude, they abbreviated GY now for graveyard in the in the text. That makes sense because these texts get out of hand real quick. Alright. Vanilla wafers are so good. Alec, I know, dude. I love them. I could eat those forever. Okay, we got a Ash Blossom. And we got a P a Opelousa. Dude, that is dope. Looks like Ash from League. <laughs> Opelousa. Okay, these maximum gold are pretty nice. Uh, Meet a Sauger, a handful of two of the minis. I'm good. <laughs> When Yu-Gi-Oh changed to size uh, two font paragraphs, I stopped playing. <laughs> Ian, that's very true. Back in the day, it was very simple. Oh, Stardust Charge Warrior. Oh, nice. Speaking of Joey Wheeler, Red Eyes Black Dragon. I recently rewatched the anime not too long ago. Okay, JB, last pack. Pulling some really nice old cards. Polymerization, Monster Reborn. Can we end it off with the Blue Eyes, Constellar, and a Laundry Dragon Maid. Constellar Platies. Nice. Do you have any pets? Juan, I actually don't. I don't actually have any pets. I used to have goldfish, but they died <laughs> a long time ago when I was younger. But I haven't had any pets since. They, they just take too much effort, you know what I mean? Andrew's like, Red-Eyes Black Dragon! Okay. Alright, so JB, that was maximum gold. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing those get open, because that is a pretty cool set. Alright, so Jose sent over two for two champs. Jose, we are out of champions pack. So Jose, I don't actually have any champions path left. So Jose, let me know if there's something that you want to swap that to, okay? Or get a refund. Hey, Sagar, I sent you a message about the problem with the shipment. Um, I know you're busy. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so after the stream, I'll respond to you on Discord. I have a Crimson Invasion booster box for cheap. Should I crack it or leave it sealed? Yeah, so Crimson Invasion is probably the one set that everybody hates right now. <laughs> so I would say leave it sealed and hopefully over time. Vin Voltage, okay. All right, Jose, here we go. Damn, this pack got brutal. Let's see what's in it. Vaporeon and a Crocodile. So I'm really, really hoping for the Vivid Voltage reprint to hit soon. They just keep delaying and pushing it back. And because there's been no Vivid Voltage booster boxes, new ones in the market, the prices on Vivid Voltage are just going up and up and up. I was looking yesterday at the booster boxes. They are so expensive now.
Jose, yes, we can. Beldum. Foible. Jiraji. Celebi, nice. Charizard. Got the Opal. Excuse me, got the hiccups. All right, so host sweet. There we go. So we said it's like two fifty a box now. Yeah, and if you're buying on eBay, you gotta pay the taxes too. It's it's just a terrible, terrible mess. All right, Edwin, we got you ten sun and moon. Let's do it. I'd pay shipping if you if you have something I need from Evolutions. Oh, here we go. Nice, bro. Full art Espeon. Nice. Honestly, it, eh, no, the shiny Espeon definitely looks better, but still love the the artwork on the card. Espeon, nice. So yeah, we will have Evos back in stock pretty soon, but Evos has just gotten so expensive. I honestly don't even recommend people to buy it. <laughs> Evos is so, so expensive. If everyone stops buying Evos, it'll go back down. <laughs> I can't get over the Evos boosters. The Zard is only 700 and the box is 1k. Yeah. Got Incineroar. What really I think is happening is people are just getting priced out of the vintage. And, you know, really it's sort of base set, base set 2, and then Evos. XP share and Crobat. Someone says, I'm in Delaware. Oh, yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, no sales tax in Delaware. But me, on the other hand, I got to pay like 8% or something like that. Kind of nuts. Quali Wag and Beware. Yeah, but you can sell a common Pikachu and a PSA 10 for like $200. No way. <laughs> You're talking about like an Evo's Pikachu? No sales tax in Oregon as well. You guys are lucky, bro. <laughs> Zubat and Cabdominal. Surskit and a Stoutland. Okay. All right, so Edwin Incineroar and Espeon. Espeon's pretty dope. All right, up next we got Jose. He says four vivid voltage and four dragon vivid martial arts. Okay. All right, Jose, let's do it. We're going to start off with your dragon ball. I have a uh, three pack of Evos. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, one being a blister pack. I mean, Green, it's kind of hard to say. I don't know. If, I mean, I, I said Evos can't continue to go up, but yet yet here we are, and it's now at 1K, so maybe. Are generation packs any good? I mean, Juan, it sort of depends. Generations is pretty cool. It has the Radiant collection, so it is pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I don't really understand how the Pikachu from Evo sells for that much. Okay, we got a Supreme Showdown Vegeta. Looks to be Majin. Majin Vegeta. Would you ever get modern Japanese, like, Dream League? Mitch, I, I used to in the past, but it never really did well. So I sort of don't do it anymore. Misa says, is that the new Dragon Ball? Misa, this one is not the new one. We got Destined Conclusion Piccolo. Uh, the new one is Vicious Rejuvenation, which I do have.
Feet Attack, Piccolo Jr., and a Test of Strength, Son Goku. I wish I could talk to the, uh, like, the announcer in, in, you know, in Dragon Ball, the narrator has that, like, really distinct voice. My Dream League box hit really well. Dude, I feel like the Japanese boxes, that's the one good thing that they do is they, you never feel like a loser <laughs> with the Japanese boxes. Sorry, just seen this ago. My order sent a little over 45 minutes ago and I asked if it was long, uh, but I haven't come up yet. Yeah, so we'll take a look for you. So I'll, I'll let you know the queue line right after this. Pokemon says, congrats on 2.7. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What do you think about Clash of Fates Dragon Ball Z booster box? So, Woozy, I am pretty new to the Dragon... Ooh, nice. I am pretty new to the Dragon Ball Super scene. Um, I pretty much started with, basically, uh, Vermilion Bloodline, which is basically the, the last newest set. But I really wanted to get my hands on some of the older vintage stuff. I really want to buy some of those signature cards. Those look super, super sweet. Like, really, really sweet. Fortress and a Zeb Strika. Misa says, what's the best pull from Vicious? Uh, Misa, it's actually a waifu card, and then the next best one is a, um, a boo card. They have really, really, really long names, so. All right, Jesus, there we go. Or his, Jose, sorry. All right, up next, we got Squirtle with a whole booster box of Darkness Ablaze. Thomas says, you could probably get them pretty cheap, like for a pack. Yeah, so Thomas, the main issue that I had is once the English set came out, no one would buy the Japanese set anymore. <laughs> so that's kind of the issue that I was having. I got my box for 60 that had three character rares, three tag team Jexes, and 11 hollows, and a rainbow rare. Ashke says, well, Ashke, how's it going, my friend? What's up? Just me or is it laggy? So I did, I am trying out the uh, ultra low latency. So what that means is there's less delay. So when you guys chat, there's less delay. However, that is, if you have a slower internet, that's really bad for those viewers. So if you guys are lagging, you know, let me know. And maybe next stream, I'll stop using the ultra latency. But also another thing you can try is change the settings to 1080. So we are streaming in 1080p. All right. So... Squirtle, let me be right back, and good luck on your box. And yeah, so Julian, you're like five orders up. All right, Squirtle, let's do it. My Scissor GX for Fates just went from 35 to 70. Dude, yeah, Hidden Fates is really on the move as well. I opened up 837 packs last night. Charles, that's nuts, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> that's a lot of packs. So we're all going to be rich once the CGC comes back. 
And I think mine's gem mint. Well, if it's Japanese, dude, it's most likely gonna be. The Japanese cards grade pretty easily. Especially the modern stuff. All right, we got a Houndoom. Okay. Spin a rack and a Greedent. Oh, gold, 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 gold. Capture energy. All right. Gold card has been pulled. Okay, Squirrel, hopefully we get you that Zard in this box. Upside down, Flygon. Scavalier. Ampharos, Toxtricity. Cali Style, how's it going, my friend? What's up? Matt dropping that scrim the <laughs> the shrimp squad. Tongue tied over here. Squirrels like I challenge you, Zard. Yo, Dylan, what's up, friend? Skarmory and a Mr. Rhyme. So I am actually very, very low on darkness ablaze. I might actually just take it off the menu. So that way we don't oversell on it. Because I am pretty low. Selagor. Our base set of limited starters going up in price as the year goes by. Ashke, I feel like you're always asking about starters. <laughs> These are crayfish. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, does it tell you like the emote name? They might be crayfish. That's funny. Fulte Geist, Kangaskong. Niles, what's up, brother? Swana. All right. Fraud ads. Not that I know if someone told me they were. Plus, in Discord, they look like crayfish. Okay, full art tears. Nice. Del Caddy. Wigglytuff. Not like Shrimp Gang. He says, no rush though, buddy. The McHugh and Flygon. Sarka, what do you do with all the common and uncommon cards? Recycle. No, Cherisy, I actually sell the bulk. So I don't recycle them. Devin, what's up, brother? How you doing? Okay, we got Vickavolt. Hoopa. Darmanitan. Cathelia. Bon Sweet and Serena. Oh, nice. We got you the money bat. All right. That's a pretty good V card to pull. Chris says, how much for a bulk? Kelly, I think it's like three. It's a little less than three cents a card. But I sell it to some guy locally. See, so yeah, I think it works out to be like two cents. Two, two cents and a little, little extra. Tyranitar. 
I feel like Shiny Scar V cards are going to drop heavily in price after Shiny Fates comes out. Ashke, I could see that. I totally could see that. Butterfree. Starly and a Thievul. All right, score the last pack. Oh, Rainbow, I think. Rainbow Rose. Okay, so we did get you actually a Rainbow and a Gold card. That's actually very nice. All right. It says Gaifu. <laughs> All right, so Squirtle, not bad. See how many hits we got total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Sorry to bother you, but uh, no, that's still at my house. That is still at my house for sure. So yeah, I don't go to the post office every day. It just wouldn't make sense. So I do go to the post office usually like once or twice a week. Okay, so I might have to make you a cyber bag. Squirrel, let's take out your hits from here and let's make you a bulk bag and then a hit back. I'm next to get Alfonso. He says, can I get two Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rays? Absolutely. Can I get reverse? I don't think they have reverse holo. What if I just show you address? Yeah, Pokey Adam, it does. It does. Dual Avatar Fists. So yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have any like reverse rares. So guys, you can see they're all sort of just uh, regular cards. Okay, we got Infernoble, Captain Oliver. Empty wheels. We still have some pretty good stuff here. Yeah, some shiny V stuff. Yo, Rain, how's it going, my friend? What's up? 25 hour shift. Jesus. Up next, we got Leon with four vicious rejuvenation.
Yo, we got Sergio with the five dollar dono. Sergio, thank you so much, brother. Mitch says, "Yeah, Mitch, if you want to, absolutely. Just Mitch, message me on Discord, okay? If you really want to, Mitch, I have no problem. Just message me on Discord." All right, Leon, let's get it. Let's get you that God Pack. New Dragon Ball Z, yes, this is the brand new set, Vicious Rejuvenation. Brand new set. Which is, I'm getting pumped. <laughs> Big Bot says, Mitch, there's a little bit in there, too. And Maximum Gold, I see. Yes, we also have Maximum Gold. So we have a couple new uh, of the alternative stuff. We got Sun Goku, Heavy Hitter. Okay, we got Lagasy. Go Hanks. <laughs> Go Hanks. Best plasticine packs. Navy Exchange. What is that? We got piano. Robert says, Mitch, did you say that they shut down the Wall Street Discord? I heard that they're trying to <laughs> they're trying to get like the um was like the FF the FCC, the Federal Trade Commission. They're trying to get that in there and shut them down. Yo, live box race, how's it going? All right, so Leon, here we go. All right, up next, we got my man Jason. He says two Shining Legends. Jason, let's do it. All right, he says bring on the shiny luck. Jason, let's do it. Let's do it. And we got a Hoopa and a Plusle. All right, second pack. Wall Street is in panic mode. Yo, Keith, how's it going? And a Keldeo and a Purloin. Okay, so Jason, those are a little icy. Sue so says, does the new set have... Yes, the new set does have God Packs. We haven't pulled one yet, though. All right, I'm next. We got my man Keyshawn. He says, let's get some fire, two hidden fates, and a sword and shield base for the giveaway. Yo, Keyshawn, thanks, brother.
All right, so Keyshawn, thank you very much for supporting the giveaway. Keith says, what is a god pack? Keith, a god pack is when every card is a holographic. Think Shining Fates will have god packs? Ants, I don't, I don't think so. I really don't think so. No, Staryu and a Erica. So Keyshawn, those are kind of icy. Keyshawn says, Cole, but it's all good. I hope somebody pulls something good out of that giveaway pack. Yeah, Keyshawn, thanks for adding to that. All right, up next, we got Julian. He says, four Dragon Ball Z, and I'm back. Julian, welcome back, brother. Good luck on the new Dragon Ball Z. Let's see if we can finally pull a God Pack. Luke Golden says, yo, Luke, how's it going? These Hidden Fate, this hidden fate reprints. <laughs> we pull some charges out of them. I think God Packs will stay a Japanese thing's barren. I think so as well. Cutting Edge Recovery Device and a Frieza Divine Transformation. Nice, dude. Check that out. Whew. And we got Frieza Recovering. I'm betting next pack has a hollow. <laughs> With Dragon Ball Z, they always got a hollow. Oh, what do we got here? Nice. Frieza and Cell, a match made in hell. Nice. And that is a special rare. All right. And then we got Son Goku, the true fighting spirit. And I need to grab another bag of sleep. Sancho says that card is sick. No, I, I dude, pretty much there are so many good cards in Dragon Ball Z. It is still very slept on, in my opinion. Master Roshi's Mufabu. Mufaba. Mufaba. Mafuba. When expressing a card to PSA, do you have to pay 90 per the sh for the shipping or is it per card? Misa, it's 90 per card. And as long as you have a bag with me, the shipping's all set. As long as you have like something on the table, those will be shipped with your slabs when they come back. And so, Julian, check it out. Julian, let's see what what's in your bag. Julian, it's been a while. Baby Saiyan Youth. Gardevoir. Bardock. Nice. Go Tanks. Nice. That's a good card. Baby Golden Avenger. Bardock. And a Vegeta. So, Julian, I've been keeping your cards nice and safe the whole time.
All right, up next, we got Gabriel 10, Sun and Moon Packs. He's the same bot. Just waiting for Dodgecoin to hit a dollar. <laughs> I haven't seen much of this new set. Looking forward to opening some more. Yeah, Sean, it's a pretty good set. 5K subs, face cam, room tour. You guys, <laughs> you guys want to see the room? Dragon Ball Z battle, huh? Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Okay, Gabriel, let's do it. Did I get shiny a couple streams ago? I think I did. Squirtle, I think you did too. I think you did. Lantern and a cloister. Oh, here we go. Professor Kakui. All right. So we got the we got the guy foo. Just made twenty bucks. <laughs> Sir Skit and a lantern. Oh, nice! Another good hit coming up. Another one. Whoa. Nice, dude. Double Professor Kakui, dude. Nice. Bro, Gabriel, you got two of them. <laughs> That's cool. Check that out. Nice, dude. Double Professor Kakui. That's actually really funny. Grimer and Abdominal. Oh, full art, Soul Galeo. Nice, dude. All right, Gabriel actually smacking the hit into Sun and Moon, dude. Nice. What the heck? Sorry, can you say Bismala? Bismala? I want Lily. Doug Trio and Incineroar. Okay, so Gabriel, no Lily, but you did get two Kakuis. Okay, Gabriel, very nice. All right, up next, we got green, 11 unbroken bonds, and one sword and a shield for Amanda. Okay. All right, here we go. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Need one more. Just pulled an impeccable Zard VMAX. Coach Parking, nice, dude. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and eleven. Perfect. All right, let's get the sword and shield for Amanda. John says, "Hey guys, I left for a little bit. Did I hit my order yet?" John, I don't think so yet. For seeker and a rapid dash. So those are kind of icy. Keegan says, "Is this fake?" Yeah, unfortunately, this is a recording. <laughs> no, it's not fake. Okay, so Venonut and Porygon Z. Okay, we got our Whimsicott. He says, Squirtle, can I have an Arceus? <laughs> Her ugly and a seal. Why do people always ask if shit's fake? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. War Turtle and a Hypno. He said, you'd be surprised when you see people on YouTube do. Are you guys talking about like replays or something like that? 
Yo, Crypto, what's up? He says, I can't stay out of the trap. Crypto, how's it going, my friend? Oh, here we go. Full art, Faramosa and Buzzwool. Okay. Why do Squirtles swim on their backs? Squirtle, what? tell us, Squirtle. Answer us. You closing orders soon? Uh, yeah, probably in a little bit. This Magius and Agron. Sucker, why is the sky blue? Hmm. I thought the sky was... <laughs> I was going to say something really stupid. <laughs> to keep their nuts dry. <laughs> Alright, so green, let's get your hits with your other hits. And we'll put the bulk with the bulk. Why do snapping turtles snap? He says, I finally got my card savers. Nice. Card savers are the key. They're the GOAT. All right, up next, we got Porter. He says five and broken bonds. Porter says, hey, I was just wondering. Yeah, Porter, actually, you're up right now, Porter. So perfect timing. Vic says long line. No, the line's not that long, actually. We have, like, maybe, like, max ten orders. Okay, what we got here? Nice. Gardevoir and Sylveon. Nice. Porter, good hit. All right, come on, Charizard and Reshiram. Come on. Salazzle and Sand Slash. Ghastly, Polyrath. Incineroar, Sea King. Chat says, any chance to 1v1 box break? All right, supporter, Gardevoir and Sylvia. All right, up next, we got John Paul. He says for some Shining Legends. All right. John the Dawn for Shining Legends. Straight to the dome. Let's do it. Horse says they're right, not bad. Until my birthday in one month, then more in the next month. What do we got here? Nice. Mewtwo Full Art. Okay, that's good. That's good. Mars Shadow, Reshiram. Scraggy and Mars Shadow. Matt says, tough crowd. <laughs> Yveltal and a Spiritomb. So Mewtwo Fuller.
All right, so Mewtwo GX. All right, up next we got Raymond. He says one hidden fate. He says, holy flames. Hey, Ro, would you part with that poster on the left side of the screen? Oh, no, Rain. I probably wouldn't because that was a gift for my little sister. So I probably wouldn't. Raymond, the Hidden Fates was Icy, Vaporeon, and Pikachu. All right, up next, we got Eduardo with one Yu-Gi-Oh! Goal. All Crypto says, Sagar's a firebender confirmed. <laughs> honestly, I can't blame Paco Mr. Charge that much at all. Uh, the man is crazy and the supply is dwindling. Well, yeah, so Brian, I mean, honestly, dude, <laughs> a, lot, some, a lot of people actually buy booster boxes from me because sometimes it's actually cheaper than buying them out there. Uh, but I so usually when I buy new packs, I will just readjust the prices based on what I paid. So if you catch it at a good time, you can actually get a booster box from me cheaper because I just base my prices off what I had to pay and then a little percentage on top for the profit that I should be making. So that's pretty much how I go about my prices. Um, but yeah, I mean, certain things like Shining Legends are super expensive, but that's not really my fault. That's more so like the market, you know? All right, Eduardo, we got Droll and Lock Bird and a Laundry Dragon Man. All right, up next, we got Victor with five maximum gold. Victor, let's do it. Price is definitely the most generous I've seen on YouTube. Yeah, so Brian, I try. I try. But yeah, I mean, price comments don't really affect me because honestly, I kind of, I, I mean, I, I probably know the market better than most people making those comments. <laughs> so Eldritch, the Golden Lord, and a Cosmo Town. Vic's like, Blue Eyes, Vic, let's do it. We've pulled the Dark Magician. We've pulled the blue Red Eyes. We need the Blue Eyes now. I am super stoked if we pull a Blue Eyes. I was always a Kaiba fanboy. I never really liked Yugi that much. I always liked Kaiba. Always, always, always loved Kaiba. Oh! Let's go! Speaking of the blue eyes. Yo! Oh, dude, that just got me so excited, bro. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Victor, nice, dude. This is the best card in the set. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Whew. He says, watch me right after. <laughs> Victor says, I called it. Victor, that's nice. Congratulations. We got Ghost Ogre. And a Zodiac Chocone. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Whew. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Nice. He says $5K for the old one. Got Nurse Dragon Maid and a Laundry Dragon Maid. Okay, so you got the Dragon Maid sisters. Check that out. I haven't bought Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time. Yeah, so Yu-Gi-Oh! There's actually a new set of Yu-Gi-Oh! coming out, I think, next month. Blazing Vortex. And then there's actually the new Dragon Ball Z set was announced as well. It's actually going to be like an OG set. Like, I think it's going to feature characters from the OG
Nurse Dragon Maid. And a Kitchen Dragon Maid. Jesus, dude, you got the whole family. <laughs> All right, Vic, you got the whole Dragon Maid family here. Check that out. Vic says, awesome, thank you. Yeah, no problem, Vic. Thanks for being a part of the stream, my friend. Good hits. Just this, like, made fetish. <laughs> we gotta take another look at that before we put it away. Oh, my God. Blue eyes, white dragon. So amazing. Victor, nice hit, dude. Look at that beast. <laughs> now says that's pretty cute. All right, up next we got Judy with the one hidden face. Judy, let's do it. Matt says, top load that puppy. Matt, honestly, you guys always say to top load it. Trust me. They don't go. They won't go bad. Also, I wonder I wonder if the maximum gold cards are have been graded yet and what the graded prices are worth. I'm kind of curious. I have yet to pull the blue eyes. I've opened like 10 plus boxes. Jesus. Tom says, I mainly only follow Pokemon. I think raw is about 26 bucks. Raw. All right, Judy, let's do it. Brand new Hidden Fates 10. Swablu. All right, it's not going to be the Charizard Knight. Fox says, wait, I'm confused. If you'll pay you for it and you open it and give them the best ones. Actually, that's pretty much exactly what it is. So this is a live pack opening stream. So what you can do if you'd like, you can purchase packs to be opened and you'll get basically your best card sent to you. He says, I'd be happy with the Dark Magician. Yo, Robert, how's it going? All right, Hidden Fates, come on, open up. Eevee and a Golem. Slowpoke and a Mr. Mind. So Judy, that was a little icy. So it just says, has anyone pulled a... Yes, actually, we have pulled a Dark Magician. But, you know, we pulled a lot of duplicates, so I wouldn't say you can't pull it anymore. Wait, wait, Robert, what? The maximum golden soul for 810? No way. He says, not from this set. Yeah, Robert, is it from the maximum gold set? All right, up next, we got Eduardo. He says, to Yu-Gi-Oh, I need that blue eyes. Eduardo, let's get it for you, man. Hopefully, you can double up. Nurse Dragon Maid. And a Ash Blossom. And the cool thing about the Maximum Gold Packs is that you get two hits per pack. So that's pretty nice. Stardust and a Super Polymerization. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen this card. Super Polymerization. Discard one card, Fusion Summon, one Fusion Monster from your extra deck. Using monsters from either field or fusion material, neither. Jesus. <laughs> All right. You gotta be like, you gotta be an English major to play Yu Gi Oh! at this point. <laughs> Rice is harder for people to wave packs. Yeah, so I mean, luckily, I don't ever wave packs. In fact, you know, honestly, I don't even know you could wave Yu Gi Oh! Probably, I mean, maybe you can.
All right, so up next we got Sergio. Sergio, you're actually in luck because all of the ones that I pre-opened before the stream are actually now sold out. So Sergio, it's your lucky day. You're getting a brand new box. So for those who do not actually know what this is, look at like, he says it did, uh, thank you. Yeah, so that's crazy. If that blue eyes actually sells for 800 and a 10, that is such a giant price increase. That is insane. But Robert's pretty cool, or pretty good at looking stuff up, so I don't, I'd believe him. So for those who don't know, this is what the maximum gold actually looks like. So take a look, <laughs> so take a look. So one whole box of maximum gold has five boxes and each box only has four packs. So like, check out how crazy this is. So to get those packs, I have to just open a shit ton of these boxes. He says boxception. So this is what it looks like. And usually I'll just rip this. I didn't get the packs out like that. So that's literally, this is, it's all of that just for four packs. Kind of crazy if you ask me. So these are ones that I definitely open off stream just because it would take forever to open up four packs like that. Wonderful thing. Yeah, exactly. So absolutely disgusting that that's literally for four packs. <laughs> it's like, what? What a gigantic waste of packaging. Yeah. Fuck the environment, right? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. So that whole box literally has less than a booster box's worth of packs. Oh, nice. Solemn Judgment. And we got a Sky Striker Ace. It looks cool, I guess. I mean, it does. It's a good presentation, I suppose. Because, you know, it's gold, you know. Forbidden Chalice. And an Anti-Magic Eros. I wish I get a pack with the most I got to spend right now is three. Yeah, so Fox, don't worry about it, brother. Don't worry about it. Just sit back and I guess just enjoy the openings. Hidden Fates is just as bad as putting four... That's true, Scott. That's kind of true, too. I never thought about it like that. Do you think Yu-Gi-Oh! has better quality cards printing than Pokemon? Actually, I am, I'm really upset with the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! cards are super fragile. Got Zodiac. Oh, wow. You got the Zodiac family. Nice. And as you can see, like, this is actually pretty off-centered. So it's definitely a lot thicker on that side. So if I had to guess, I would probably assume that maximum gold probably isn't that easy to grade. But you can definitely look that up just by seeing. If you probably go to, like, the pop report, you can just see how many 10s there are versus 9s. And I'll give you, like, a good idea if it's it's a hard or not to grade set. All right, Sergio. Yeah, that's the square corners. Like, you can easily mess up a Yu-Gi-Oh card if you're not careful. Solemn Judgment. And a Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. I hate how Yu-Gi-Oh cards are not normal size. Yeah, that pisses me off too. Because look how loose the sleeve is. And honestly, I'm not going to buy like perfect fits just for Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, Sergio, I'm a little sad because now your bag doesn't say Sergio Wasquez. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I've got to put an extra V in there. All right, up next, we got my man Ryan. He says, one hidden fates. And so, Ryan, I remember you gave away all your stuff, Ryan. So if you do end up pulling something, I'll give you a free bag. Oh, nice, bro. Nice. Gold card, Mount Cornet, dude. Nice. All right, Ryan, that's amazing. So, Ryan, let me make you a new bag real quick because that's nice. That's a good pull.
Okay, so Ryan, very nice. So Ryan, it's that good karma coming back from giving away your bag, I suppose. Very nice. Yo, Brian, what's up, brother? I didn't know you were here. Brian says four unbroken bonds. Can you do a giveaway, please? We do a giveaway at the end of the stream pretty much every time as long as we hit uh, 100 likes. Where are the Shining Legend packs coming from? Booster Box? Matt, there is no Booster Box for Shining Legends. They are coming out of the um, five-pack Raichu boxes. But yeah, there is no booster box for Shining Legends, unfortunately. I wish there was. Sphero and a Licky Licky. This is a new that I'm just testing you. Oh yeah, okay, Matt. <laughs> Ooh. Brian. Sheesh. All right, up next, we got Squirtle. He says, four Shining Legends. Please pull that fire. Squirtle, let's do it. This stream could go on for hours. True. We got Totodile and Keldia. What time is it? It's like 12. Marshadow and a Carnivine. Verizian. Raikou and a Feraligator. So Shining Legends acting very cold right now. All right, so Squirtle, that was a little icy. All right, up next we got Porter. He says two unbroken bonds. Johnny Rainbow says it's in HD right now. Gonna be a, I hope so, Tom. I hope so, dude. I hope so. Shining Legends can be very, very, very bad sometimes. So Shining Legends has been out since 2016. That's when Shining Legends first was released. And, oh, here we go. A Dedenne. Nice. All right. So Dedenne. And, yeah, we've opened up Shining, uh, Shining Legends a ton. And, yeah, it's pretty rough. It actually has a pretty rough set. Mike says, how long is the queue? Maggie, it's about like seven orders. All right. So I wonder if you guys can hear my, my, my chair like squeak. I'm trying to get a new chair. Okay, up next we got John. Uh, John D he says three sun and moon. Freychu, how's it going, my friend? He says, this is the new mic. Yes, Freychu, this is the new mic from Squirtle. So actually, check it out. And I got an arm for it. So now it's attached to an arm. So pretty cool. So Squirtle, thanks once again. And then the camera that we're using came from Pat. Okay. John, let's go. Three sun and moon. Popolio and Hariyama. 
I can't find a Canadian box breaker sick of paying international taxes. Well, yeah, so Vibe, you won't have to pay like import fees from me, but yeah, you'll have to pay for the shipping, but usually it's only like 12 to $14. But yeah, you won't have to pay taxes. Or if you mean like fees when you send money, yeah. Okay, so John, those were a little icy, but John, you now do have a bag with me, so you don't need to pay shipping on your next order if you do place another order. Alright, up next we got Porter. He says, one more broken bonds for the nightcap. Okay. Porter, let's do it. Um, Frey, he got me a Brio. A Logitech Brio. Porygon and Blacephalon. Is that the... Yes, Keith, that is. That is. So yeah, Keith, that exact, that's exactly the model, too, actually. Matt says, speaking of nightcap. <laughs> okay, so up next, we got Jose, and he's got three World Martial Art. Okay, let's get it. Okay, we got Vegeta, Power Misused, and we got a Pan, the proudest daughter. Alright, what do we got here? A Faithful Reunion Son Goku. He says, Mariah is... Oh, okay, you got it. So what I'll do is I'll just give you this pack too. But you can just add one more martial art. Okay, cool, Mexican. That's cool. Thanks, I appreciate that. Thank you. Secret Treaty, Android 18. And we got Taishan. So give me one sec. I'll also throw you some extra packs too, so give me a sec. So I'm going to throw you one more to make it the even. I'm going to throw you a Vermilion Bloodline. So that's not even on our price guide, but I'm going to throw it to you anyways. So sorry about the mix-up. Thanks for uh, trying to work with me too, so thank you. I appreciate that. So sorry about that. I was reading quick, I suppose. My B. And we got Destined Conclusion Hero. Yeah, you're the best. No, no problem, dude. Thanks for understanding. Totally, totally uh, love that you like were like, it's okay. So thanks, man. I appreciate that. All right. So Vermilion Bloodline. Honestly, I like Vermilion Bloodline a lot more than the new set, but I don't have any more boosters of it. Sicko, what's up, brother? He's like, yo. We got a Vegito. Sicko mode, how you doing, my friend? Long time no see. Okay, up next, we got Cherisy. She says, one Dragon Ball Z, Vicious Rejuve. Kind of sounds wrong saying that. Vicious Rejuve. <laughs> Team Up will be here soon, I hope. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I did order it a while ago. Team Up has even shot up even more. So, kind of crazy. Oh, nice. Looks like we got a good hit. Nice. Janemba Bewitching Blow Special Rare. Nice. Check out the art on that card. Whew. Seriously, that's a pretty hot card.
Is battle styles gonna have booster boxes? Yes, they are. We are gonna have battle styles a lot of it actually. So I actually got a lot of battle styles uh, pre-allocated. So I'm gonna have a ton of battle styles and it should be pretty cheap too. So that's exciting. So Shining Fates is gonna look a little rough for us, but battle styles I'll have a ton and hopefully for really cheap too. So that should be really good. So I'm excited for battle styles. Shining Fate is just really, really rough. The allocations for Shining Fates are so small. Yeah, so like what Matt said, shining or uh, battle styles will have booster boxes. All right, up next we got Hui. He says, "10 minute voltage." Shout out to my girlfriend Samantha who watches this stream nightly. Samantha, shout out to you. All right, so we got seven here. Let's grab your brand new box. Shining Fates is going to suck. Yeah, Shining Fates is going to suck because they are not going to be printing as much as we need. Jonah says, I hope I can get Shining Fates. Just know Shining Fates booster boxes. I'm only ETVs. Yeah, exactly. So no, no booster. So it's a special set. So similar to like um, Hidden Fates, uh, Shining Legends, Dragon's Majesty. Jesus, what happened here? <laughs> Jesus. All right, never seen that before. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So Huey, let's do it. Four, six, eight, ten. Baron says, honestly, I'm not even hyped for Shining Fates. Really? So I have, or I should say, I had a master set of Hidden Fates, but my Charizard and all my EVs, my evolutions are out for grading. So I used to have a master set of um, Hidden Fates, and I'm going to probably also collect Shining Fates as well, because it's, it's, you know, they're like brother sets, you know, they're like sister sets. Okay, here we go. Aegis Slash Full Art. Nice. I don't uh, like looking at the cards before the release. I like opening them and seeing them for the first time. Honestly, T Neil, uh, that's actually, that's actually, that sounds pretty legit. I guess my only issue is that I have to look. You know what I mean? Like I have to, because I, I gotta kind of know what I'm getting into. But yeah, I wish I could. That'd be awesome. But I feel like I also kind of have a role of knowing what's going on. You know. Try Mecco and a Duraladen. And it says, I'm going to my target at 6 a.m. I'm going to wait until it opens at 7 to get some Shining Fates. I'm going all out. Brandon, good luck. I'm sure there's going to be other people with you. It's crazy nowadays. I want a Master Set or Reverse Hollow Energies. Dude, Matt, you should talk to Philip, who's in our Facebook group. Dude, he pretty much has that. It's pretty nuts. Shining Fates is Shiny Star V. Yes. I'm looking forward to the Cosmic Reprint. So, dude, honestly, I, I can't say for sure that the reprint is coming. Um, you know, he said it's going to be coming in April, but and I guess it could make sense because by the time April rolls around, hopefully Pokemon will have printed, you know, everything and, like, got everything done. So, it's, it's, it's you know. Oh, here we go. Nice. Chubby Chew VMAX. Very, very nice. When does Shining Faith release? I think it's, like, February 19th. Or is it the 27th? It's it's somewhere February, late Feb, middle Feb, I guess. Okay, so Huey, very nice. Where he says 19th. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so Hui and Samantha, congratulations on the Chunky Chew. It feels like it's harder to pull the Pikachu full art. Appears to yes, T nails. That's true. The full art is very hard to pull. That's why it's worth more. The full art's actually the most, the second most expensive card in the set.
Okay, up next, we got Eduardo. He says one Yu-Gi-Oh gold. All right, Eduardo, let's do it. So, we got the giant box of gold here. So, dude, check it out. The packs are always low-key kind of like mangled. The box, I don't know. They could have they done something else, to be quite frank. I see a lot of sellers keeping the non-hollow rares. Well, yeah, so Brian, I suppose sometimes I'll do that too. If the bag is really, really full, sometimes I'll take out the non-hollow rares to keep it, uh, keep room. I guess I know I'm going to myself on my birthday. Oh, is that your birthday, Jersey? On the 19th? Oh, nice. Gaia the Dragon Champion. And a Ghost Ogre. Nice. We got Gaia. Gotta love, um, I got two of the full Arpicas and sold one for 85 pounds. Jesus. Pounds are more than US dollars, too. Yo, Rakeem, how's it going? He says, I love gold. Alright, up next we got Misa. He says Mew Dragon Ball. Misa, let's do it. What we got? What we got? A ten tension. Well, I can't I don't know why I can't say his name right anymore. Alright, so Misa, found your baggie. Boop. Okay, up next we got Squirrely says, I refuse to let the hits evade me. Four more Shining Legends. All right, Squirtle, let's do it, bro. Incoming Mewtwo. Let's do it. It's pronounced... <laughs> Zane, thank you. <laughs> Gold says, is there a long queue? No, Goldie, actually, not really. There's a very small queue right now. Didn't sound like Saga for a moment. Oh, here we go. Pokemon Burita Full Art. I'm trying to find Rebel Clash. Runaway Rick, really? I'm feeling a shining Mew coming, dude. I'm hoping for a Mew tube. Verizian, Volcarona. Oh. Nice! Squirtle, let's go, dude. Nice, brother. Holy shit. Oh. But I will say that Squirtle, it is actually fairly off centered. So the bottom is a lot thinner than the top. So probably not a PSA 10. Oh yeah, check that out. Jesus. That's centering. Oh. But we did do it. We pulled the Mewtube. And we got one more pack. He says, beat me up, Scotty. Super scoop up and a Manaphy. All right, so Squirrel, that's actually still a pretty good choice to go back in because honestly, someone else would have got it. And says, that's 2 OC for you, Squirtle. I'll take it. 
Thrill says, do you think I should grade it? Sort of. The problem is, dude, to be quite frank, the, the, the amount of off-centering that it has, it could possibly pull a PSA 8. Like, that is pretty bad top to bottom and left to right. I could totally see this pulling a PSA 8 just due to the centering. So I'm not sure how much the PSA 8 goes for, but if the PSA 8... So I would take the raw card price, because you can still sell this as near mint. So near mint raw price plus the grading price and see if it's worth it at an 8 price, because... Best case, you get a 9. Worst case, you get an 8 or even a 7. Worst case. Matt says, this means war. Matt, why are you going to war? So yeah, Squirtle, let me know if you want to. So Squirtle, the PSA sub's already out, but you would just be in for the next one. Okay, up next, we got Matt. He says, two Shining Legends, Matt. Whew, Matt, all right. Now I know what you meant by this is war. He says 130 and an 8. So yes, the Squirtle, definitely not worth expressing. Alright, now we got you two Ray Ray packs. Let's see it. He says at least Snipe is shiny. Oh, here we go. Full art and you two. That's still a pretty good hit. Very, very nice. Verizian and a double colorless. <laughs> Matt's like, okay, I come in peace. <laughs> Raymond says, don't twist my arm, I'll buy it off you. <laughs> All right, Matt, what do you got in the top loader in here? Oh, you're Sylveon, nice. All right, up next, we got Jeremy. He says three hidden fates. Jeremy, let's do it. Also, Jeremy, good luck on your Darkness of Blaze Zard that you sent out with Express. Have you ever had a shipping accident when shipping cards? Actually, there has been one incident that happened um, where, the honestly, the package got literally bent. Like, it literally looked like an employee took it and just forcefully bent it. Or, you know, most like the case, it probably got stuck in a machine. But only one time, and I basically just um, sent them, like, a care package to make up for the package. But that was kind of out of my control. Sort of just, I don't know what happened with it. But, yeah, basically, like, bent to shit. Yo, Black Tabs, how's it going? Alright, up next we got my man Zane Boss. He says too vivid. He says there's a how is the, the YouTube and that Mewtwo are in equal in price, really? Shop it and shift it. For Fable and a Leon. Okay, so Zane, kinda icy. <laughs> He's a sauce walk. <laughs> All 
All right. Up next, we got Maggie. Maggie has a special request. Maggie wants the packs in ASMR format. Like I said, says, great man, love the upgrade. Shout out to the community. Yeah, so huge shout out to both Squirtle and Pat who sent things to basically upgrade the rig. All right. So we got some new mic ASMR time. Welcome to After Hours with Sagar. This is the time where we start talking nonsense. Got the Ginyu. Okay, we got Janemba. Oh, shit. <laughs> Omega Shenron. Got the Janemba. I was told that I need to whisper. All right, I think I got it. All right, Maggie, let's see it. We got, oh, nice. And a reinforcement of the arms. <laughs> Keith, anyone getting uncomfortable? Keith, I'm sorry, I don't make you uncomfortable. Who said this is fresh? I am actually. I want to do that really bad because now I can check on the vod to see how it sounds. I'm curious to see how it sounds as well. Got a miscellaneous sore. <laughs> Keith, like, is anyone else getting uncomfortable? <laughs> That's like silky. Nice. Gotta keep it silky smooth over here. Imagine, how's it going, my friend? Okay, we got Chaos Dragon. And a Cosmos the Dark Destroyer. Okay. <laughs> he said, ooh, shit. <laughs> ooh, is it warm in here? Ooh, Karen. Okay, Karen. Now you're speaking my language. I'm kind of feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Also, yeah, so Derek, um, I, I forgot to respond, but yeah, glad that the package came safe, man. And yeah, so uh, thanks for being a part of that break. <laughs> Pat said I came at the right time. Pat, did you hear the ASMR? Oh no, guys. Pat heard the ASMR. I gotta hide. All right, so Maggie, there we go. <laughs> he says, Pat, you catch some whispers? <laughs> All right, up next, we got Ryan R. He says, two unbroken bonds. <laughs> Pat says, I have it on replay. <laughs> He says, yeah, request ASMR. Gold, you liked it too? Cubone and Clefable. Do you ship to Germany? I've been lurking a while, thinking about ordering um, soon. Uh, prices for English cards here are ridiculous. So, Robert, I do ship to Germany. Uh, the only thing is, is that, so, usually people will pay $5 for U.S. shipping. But if you are international, um, I'll just call you on shipping when it comes time to ship you. So, everything is in U.S. dollars, but um, when it comes time to ship, if you don't want your reverses and stuff, it should only be about like 14 bucks. Pat says, man, I can't wait to go live. You can do so many fun things. Yeah, Pat, dude, you should do some like, so Pat, you should do some like, some, Pat, get your, get your hands on a vintage box and do a break, Pat. You'll have the best time in your life. All right, up next, we got Ryan. He says two Dragon Ball Z, uh, Vicious Rejuvenation, and one Viva La Voltage. 
Maggie says it was saucy. Maggie, I'm like glad you like the ASMR. Maggie, you inspired me. I'm gonna start my ASMR channel ASAP. Execute and a Samurott. <laughs> ASMR only fans. I open up Pokemon cards in an ASMR fashion. Viva Love Voltage. Yeah, absolutely. Nike says, I would subscribe. All right, all right. We got Bulma. Maggie, you, you've messed me up, Maggie. Now I'm going to turn to an ASMR channel. Pat says, there are ASMR Pokemon videos on YouTube. Usually women with really fancy nails. Yeah, <laughs> Pat, yeah. And Pat, they always they always have the um that weird ass like microphone that looks like ears. They always do. Okay, so Ryan, it turns out that you did not have a bag with me, Ryan. So you do, you will be liable to pay for that shipping. So Ryan, I am going to stick you in the no ship zone. So yeah, so Ryan, on your next order, if you do decide to purchase more stuff, just be sure to add that extra five for shipping. Lyra says, see you tomorrow. Leonardo, have a good night, man. Thanks for tuning in. Whispers, Onyx, it looks like poop. <laughs> After hour pulls. Dude, Onyx does not look like poop, man. You guys got to show some love to the boy. All right, I'm next. We got a Zeus. He says two unbroken bonds and one Yu-Gi-Oh goal. Pokey Adam, have a good night, my friend. Thanks for tuning in as well. Chris says, Q, Chris, not many. There's like five orders left. We've worked through it pretty much all of it almost. <laughs> Demon says, do ASMR again. You guys like it, huh? Oh, nice. What a cute Snorlax. All right. On to the maximum gold. So we just did pull a uh, blue eyes. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to call it. I was about to say something <laughs> really messed up. And we got the Elder Entity and a Sky Striker. Damn, look at that. She got that Crip Walk. <laughs> Karen says, no, I can't take it. No ASMR. <laughs> Karen's getting hot and bothered. Do an ASMR only Pokemon stream and it'd be funny. It would be really funny. He says, Crip Walk. Yeah, absolutely. He says, um, don't plan it or announce it. Just start the stream like that and see how long you can last. <laughs> Bursting out of laughing. So I probably wouldn't last that long. 
It's just so funny to me. I don't know. I can't keep it in. Why do ASMR? All right, up next we got John. He says four sun and moon. Is the OG Dark Magician going for anything? Yeah, so the Yu-Gi-Oh! If you have some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, the old, old Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, and then really good shape, yeah, they do actually go for quite a bit. Um, With the Yu-Gi-Oh! mark... Oh, here we go. Oh, no shot! Oh, my God. Nice, bro. Full Art Lily. That is a fire pull, brother. Nice. Dude, we are pulling all the waifus tonight, dude. Nice. Draw cards till you have six cards in your hand. That's OP. That's OP. What the? Rainbow? Oh my god! Wow! Wow! That is insane. Lily and then the Umbreon Rainbow Rare right after. John, congratulations, bro. Wow. Wow. Oh, thought you were going to get another hit, dude. Holy moly. And fourth pack, kind of cold. Dude, I swear, Sun and Moon is like that, dude, because th that happened with Taylor, too. Taylor got three hits back to back, and then a lo lot of the packs are just cold, and then suddenly we just hit like a fat hit. Fat, fat hit. Dude, John, absolutely legendary, bro. You got both of these cards for $16. John, absolutely stunning, dude. Nice. Whew. Umbreon and Lily, brother. Very, very nice hits, dude. Congratulations. Sun and Moon being hot tonight. He basically just robbed... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, up next we got Goldie with two Viva La Voltage. Okay, what do we got here? Steelix. Pat says, Saga, how's it cute? Pat, it's actually very small. You probably have like s close to five orders, five, six orders, so not long at all. Okay, so Goldie, steal it. Gold, let me go toss it into your ETB. Okay, and so Goldie, do you still want to give this away, Goldie? Are you sure? Very underrated, trying to master that one and team up. Yeah, team up's getting super expensive as well. Mine's no longer a bag, it's a, <laughs> yeah. We'll do a giveaway for you. Okay, Goldie, thanks. So Goldie, we'll do that. So we're gonna give away that CGC 8.5 Black Kyrim tonight. So make sure you drop Goldie some fire in the chat because he just donated that for the giveaway. All right, up next, we got Amanda with two vivid voltage. Milsery and a par seeker. Kyle says, how do I open? Kyle, if you want to buy packs for the stream, uh, read the description. You need either Venmo or PayPal. Okay, Amanda, those are kind of icy. Oh, 
Okay, so up next, we got Mike. Mike says three maximum gold. Uh, however, Mike, this is definitely your first time purchasing, I think. Right, Mike? So, Mike, if it is your first time, you will also have to pay five for the shipping, okay? So keep that in mind. So, Mike, feel free if you don't want me to open them for you and you'd rather get a refund if you didn't know you had to pay for shipping. But, yeah, so, Mike, you will have to pay that five for the shipping as well before I actually ship out your cards. So, Mike, let me know if you want to change your mind or if you want me to open those for you. And in the meantime, I'll get a drink. <laughs> Coach says, no, I purchased before. Okay, cool. So, Coach, I'll check to see if I find your bag then. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. Cal says I'm sending $33 now. Okay. Tour guide from the underworld. And a laundry dragon maid. We are pulling so many of these maid cards. So Coach Parking, let me know if your bag is under a different name. I feel like I don't recognize that name, but maybe, maybe I'm just not remembering right. Oh, Stardust and a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I wonder what makes the pack have the, the hits next to each other versus them being separate. But it's full, so I got... Okay, cool. So, yeah. So, Coach, let me know if your bag had any specific name so I can remember. Mitch says, Pat, the staff charge of the... Yeah, so Mitch, funny that you say that. The... Uh, so, Pat, I'm hoping that it does well. I'm a little worried about the um, the little, like... I don't even know what you want to call it, like the cut on it. But, Pat, I hope... did you notice that before you sent it to me, Pat? The little, like, cutting thing? Depending on how you look at it in a certain angle. Should be Mike S, I think. Okay. Okay, Mike, actually, you actually did have a bag. So, Mike, I apologize. And it was the correct name, too. Okay. Next, we got Kevin. He says two hidden fates and one shining legends. Kevin, let's do it. Pat says I got another one coming, dude. Pat, I gotta make sure I get on there quick. That I gotta beat Squeaks. <laughs> oh, we got a Riolu and a Deberts. Okay, Deberts. All right, Shining Legends time, Kevin. Let's do it. We just pulled a Mewtwo. Can we get... Oh, what we got? Oh, okay, we got another Mewtwo. Not the Seeker Rare, of course, but a Mewtwo GX. I'm watching Lucario Slab on eBay. How much is Lucario Slab going for? I'm kind of curious. The Shining Fates, the Baby Shinies have started to go up a lot a bit, too. This is a hundred right now. Oh, wow. Yo, Paul, what's up, brother? This isn't my late, Paul. You can never be late, my friend. Thanks for tuning in.
All right, up next we got who he says two shining legends. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Guys, I know you're early for tomorrow. I kind of want to see what Kyle gets now. All right, first shining legends. We got Bulbasaur and a Reshiram. All right, that pack just absolutely obliterated. And a Mars Shadow and an Ivysaur. So a little icy. All right, I'm next to my man Eric. He says four unbroken bonds. All right, let's do it. Kyle says, damn, are those base set booster packs? Yes, they sure are. Cartana and a Tangrowth. <laughs> oh, you're watching Pat's Lucario? <laughs> Mischievous, Tangrowth. Are you opening those soon? No, Kyle, we won't be opening up the base set packs. Those are most likely light, so those are just going to sit in my collection. But we are going to be opening up Neo Genesis tomorrow night. And Gligar and a Persian. So, Eric, a little icy. A little icy on those. I can't believe I played my first edition Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and didn't have them sleeved. Oh, dude, Brian, we all did. Brian, we all did. So, Brian, don't feel bad about that. We all did. All right, up next, we got my man, Pat. He wants five Unbroken Bonds, five of Voltage, and Pat, I'm also going to throw some Dragon Ball Z cards in, so when I get when you get your, your mail from me, maybe you'll fall in love. <laughs> All right, Pat, let's do it. Diglett and a Dugong. Tentacool and a Perugly. Okay, come on, Reshizar, Dugong, Butterfree. That's the next dude, Pat. It's at least like a dude, Pat. I gotta send you a gift too, Pat. So I'll probably send you a gift because that the cam. I gotta send Squirtle a gift too. That was unreal from you guys. So I gotta send you guys a gift. It's only fair. Majin Buu will be in those packs. I hope so. Venonat and a Stunkfish. All right, now onto the Vivid Voltage. What do we got here? Oh, nice. Double hit pack. Jirachi and a Darmanitan. Okay. Okay, we got that double hit. Dude, the Unbroken Bonds booster boxes just feel so bad. I feel like you don't get as many hits out of a booster box, and they're so expensive now. The Dene and a Jolteon. Rayolu and a Alchemy. Trumbeak and a Zygarde. Xerneas and a Fortress. Okay, so Pat, the Pokemon a little icy. The draw she was very nice. But let's see if we get you something nice out of Dragon Ball. Karen says, just do free shipping, Saga, for Pat and Squirtle. That's not enough. <laughs> That's not enough. I have to ship them, like, uh, like, like 20, like, 30 packages <laughs> to make it even. So, that's, free shipping is probably not enough. All right. On to the Dragon Ball. We got Chain Attack Gravy. And we got Son Goku, the Catastrophic Premonition.
Pack God Pack? No, no God Pack. But we got. Ooh, what we got here? Okay, that looks nice. Launch. And. Oh, nice! Oceanus Shenron. The Animancer. Jesus, these words. We're not even speaking English anymore. We ain't even speaking English no more. John says, first order, hopefully get some good luck. John, how's it going, my friend? Hopefully you do get that good luck. Make it two bags. Give me one sec. Right, and so Pat, boom. Easy enough. So if you guys didn't see, I sent Jeff a CP6 pack sealed. He ended up opening it at home and pulled a Charizard. <laughs> so we had another Charizard in those packs, but it did get sent out. So that was pretty cool to see. Okay, up next we got Mid-Atlantic Auction. So Mid-Atlantic Auction, how's it going, my friend? Um, let me see. You didn't leave a message. So Mid-Atlantic Auction, how's it going? And what would you like? What day this weekend we crack in those gen packs and any left to buy? Yes. So Freychu, we sold roughly about 30. So we sold about half the box already. Um, and yeah, this is going down on Saturday. So as you see, there's 60 packs in here. And yeah, so this is going down on Saturday. I'll probably stream around 8 o'clock Eastern. So I'll probably start around 8 o'clock Eastern. And, dude, I just can't wait to open these. <laughs> so, we got Lugia, T17, uh, the Pichu. There's so many more, and I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting now. For Alligator. Other good ones. Blossom. Blossom's not the best, but pretty good, too. There's a lot of good, cool cool cards. There's also two banned cards you can pull. There's the banned uh, Slot Machine card, and then also the banned Moomoo Milk. But, yeah, that'll be going down this Saturday. Thomas says, um, good, it's me. I wanted a Vivid and a Unified. Okay. All right, let's do it. One vivid, one unified. Good luck. Chris says Typhlosion. Yeah, did I forget to say Typhlosion? T17, Feraligator, Lugia, Pichu's really good too. Oh, yo, what the? What was it? What is it? Oh, shit! <laughs> yo, nice! The backwards giant bomb. I was not expecting that. Nice, dude. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. That is awesome. Nice. I was like, oh, that's weird. And it's a gold card. Nice, dude. All right. <laughs> Ryan's like, damn, nice surprise. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, it's just going to be something random. Nope, it was a gold card. Very nice, dude. Dude, the Pokemon booster boxes are getting crazier and crazier. Upside down cards, backwards cards. I've seen it all now. All 
All right, up next, we got Annabelle, and Annabelle says Pokemon pack for K Buddha. So, Annabelle, um, what packs did you like? Can you send YouTube to PSA Bulk? Ah, uh, Squirtle, I'm not doing PSA Bulk, unfortunately. So, yeah, so Squirtle, I'm not doing the bulk at the moment. That's me, Shining Voltage. Okay, so we got four vivid voltage. Will says, okay, just ship it to me. Okay, you got it. Trumbeak and Electro. I think you want a Shining Legends. Oh, okay, you want a Shining Legends. Okay. So I'll, I'll take this for myself then. Okay. Uh, sorry, I thought you said Shining Voltage. <laughs> I thought you meant Voltage. Okay, so thanks for letting me know. Give me one sec. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. One Shining Legends. Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. Mewtwo Full Art. Very nice. That one pack magic. So your bag is going to be under the name Annabelle. All right. So just remember that um, in case, you know, you don't know your, where your bag is. It's under the name Annabelle. Okay. All right, up next, we got my man Aaron. He says two in fates, four sun and moon, and five for the shipping. All right, Aaron, let's do it. Vivid Eclipse sounds nice. <laughs> Squirrel, that's what they're going to do. They're just going to start mashing the names together. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Having this arm for the microphone is so fun. <laughs> Unbroken Minds. That says Legendary Legends. <laughs> Shining Rejuvenation. <laughs> All right, Aaron, let's do it, my friend. Got the Crypdominal. Roaring Ablaze. Hariyama and a Pylosan. Vicious Legends. Actually, man, I kind of like that one. Vicious Legends. That sounds pretty tight. Energy switch and a cloister. Okay, so the sun and moon a little icy. Squirrel says hidden fossil. I don't know, Squirrel. That one was not that great. Darkness shadow. Oh! Full art. Full art alert, Aaron. Alright, let's take this one slow, guys. What do we got here? Clefairy. Psyduck. Magikarp. Star you. Who is it? The next one. 
Oh, whose foot is that? Whose foot is that? It's a Levion! Nice, brother. Very, very nice. That was Levion's foot that we were... Oh, and a DeBirds. Okay, nice. Whew. That was Levion's foot. I never would have guessed, to be honest. And a DeBirds. Sword and Bonds. <laughs> And last pack, Bill and Blaine. Bill and Blaine. Kel says, yo, I'm about to purchase some more. I'm feeling it. Leafy on so cute. Fair and very, very nice. All right, up next, we got Amanda with two Viva La Voltage. She says, is the queue long? No, Terry said, the queue is about like five orders. So not long at all. Subat and Garbodor. Passes Neo 2. Dude, Neo 2 is pretty nice too. Oh my God, bro. I need Neo 4. I need Neo 4 in my life bad. So guys, check this out. This is my uh, pack collection. So this is a base set pack, Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket, Gym 1, Gym 2, and I'm missing Neo Genesis. So once we open up the box, I'll probably take keep a pack for myself to add to the collection. So I'll have Neo Genesis, Neo Discovery, this is Neo Rev, and then I'm missing Neo Destiny. But that pack is like $500 now. <laughs> so I'm missing Neo 4 and then that's CP6. So once I get the Neo 4, which I'm hopefully going to get soon, I'll continue on with the e-reader sets. So pretty excited. And like Skyrim and things like that. So pretty excited. So really happy because the last time we broke. So check that out. Check this out. So if you guys can see right up there, you guys can see all those empty Japanese boxes. Like check that out. Those are all open. We've opened all of those on stream before. I think I counted it, and we've opened eight Japanese boxes before. Whew. Such sick packs. I have a Japanese town on no map. Pat, are you trying to sell it? <laughs> all right, next we got Ryan. He says, two hidden fates and two unbroken bonds. Japanese packs, both English packs out of the water. Dude, I think so too. I think so too, but it is. I want to show it. Yeah, Jarek, you saw my ETB? <laughs> you saw that ETB? Dude, I used to have a hundred of those things, and I wish I held on to them, but at the time, they went up even more. I think I sold mine around like 150 Dude, they're like double that price now. He says, how long is tonight's stream? We're probably going to end in like, you know, not in, in a little bit. We won't go too much longer. It's already a little late. All right, Ryan, let's do it. Local game shop here in Vegas is selling them Channel DVs for 200 Paul, it's actually not that. That's actually a pretty good price, Paul. That's actually a pretty good price. Paul, I might have you pick. Dude, Paul, I'm going to message you. <laughs> Ethan says you're still live. Yes. Ethan, I know. I'm crazy. So yeah, Paul, if you don't want those, Paul, I will absolutely take those off your hand. 200 is absolutely a steal. Yeah, like everyone's saying, 200 is really good. Because you get 10 Shining Legend packs in an ETB. That's a really, really good, actually. And you get the Ho-Ho, too. Whew. Dude, 
Ville's analysis. For which? Yeah, Pat, for Shining Legends. Port says, hey, I placed a couple of orders. Just wondering where I am in the line. Yeah, supporter, we don't have that many orders, so you'll probably be coming up soon if you're in line still. All right, up next, we got my man, John. He says, four hidden fates. John, let's do it. Man says my parcels are coming. Did Amanda? I love mail time. All right, John, let's do it. I don't play Pokemon Go, Keith. I played Pokemon Go when it first came out, but I haven't played ever since. Paul says I got a fly, but I got no. Okay, Paul, you got it. I'll send you a message. I'm just swinging for anything hot, but an SP49 would be a great bonus. John, let's do it. Let's do it. And I'm also going to slide you the Ryger promo as well. He says, I play Pokemon Go. Nice. You guys should exchange friend codes. Curlia and a Mewtwo. Because it's damn, that's love. So yeah, I stopped playing Pokemon Go because honestly, people were just like, what's it called? Spleefing, spoofing, spoofing, sloughing, whatever you want to call it. Spleefing, I think that's Minecraft. <laughs> Caterpie and an Erica. Graveler and a Zapdos. Wow, okay. So John, that was actually a really cold tin. Whew. He says spoofing. Yeah, so spoofing is what they call it. Gotcha. Yeah, spoofing's Minecraft. <laughs> All right, but John, you now do have a bag with me, my friend, which means you don't need to pay, pay for shipping again if you do decide to purchase some more packs. But we will probably stop accepting orders. So if you guys do want to place another order for tonight, feel free, but I'm going to stop accepting orders very soon. All right, we got Pat going in with two shinies. All right, Pat, let's do it. Pat says, let's try this again. All right, Pat, here it comes. Guaranteed Rayquaza. Mar Shadow and a Yveltal. And Zekrom and a Raikou. So Pat, a little icy on those ones, unfortunately. He says, AKA GPS cheaters. <laughs> he says, damn, I think I have like six Marsh Shadows now. <laughs> Marsh Shadows is to Shining Fates as, yeah, exactly, Thomas. All right, up next, we got Judy, one Hidden Fates tip. How much for those Charizard packs? Oh, you're talking about the base set packs? Those are not for sale.
So yeah, those those uh, base sets are not for sale. They are most likely light, so you probably wouldn't want to open them anyways, because you probably will not get a hollow. All right, Black Tech says it's a flex, kind of. All right, Judy, let's kill it. Let's kill it, Judy. Steel energy, any Jolteon. He says, okay, thank you. Do you accept Cash App? I don't. Just Venmo or PayPal. We got a Ranguru. Water energy, Kangaskhan. Arbok and a Snorlax. Oh, these tins. Jeez. At this point, Judy, I should have grabbed you some of the packs from behind me. <laughs> that was kind of cold. Okay, so then up next, we got John. John sent over 16. John, he says, okay, cool, perfect. All right, John, let's do it for sun and moon. I'm trying to keep my bag to buy my packs when Battle Styles comes out. Yeah, so Thomas, no problem. Battle Styles is now for a long time, though. We have to go through Shining Fates first before we even get Battle Styles. So it's going to be a while for that. Serena and Golduck. Ooh, what do we got? A Solgaleo. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Drowsy and Parasite. Sounds good about in March. Well, Keith, though, honestly, bro, they're probably going to delay it too, <laughs> the way things are going. All right, so John, no waifu this time, but you did snag the Solgaleo, and honestly, Lily rides Solgaleo, so kind of, kind of makes sense. All right, next, I got my man Frey Chu. He says three Viva La Voltage. I thought Battle Style drops in February. Is it? I thought it was March. I can double check real quick and see when my pre order is coming. What packs are available for tonight? Sorry, I'm new. Yes, yeah, so smoked out. Unfortunately, we are no longer accepting orders for tonight as the stream is almost over. We're four hours in. Um, but we will be live again tomorrow night, so feel free to... Ch oh! Oh, no, it's an Aegis Slash. <laughs> right, I thought you got a Junkie. I thought you got the Junkie Monkey. Josh says March 5th. Yeah, there we go. Ryan's like, lol, the tease. <laughs> Ryan, that's what I'm good at, dude. I'm a teaser. All right, I'm next. We got Annabelle, three Shining Legends packs. My excitement levels are making me... <laughs> I got a bunch from GameStop. I hope they come through. Yeah, dude, Thomas. Not looking too hot. I have two boxes of the Japanese battle styles. Not sure what to do with them. Yeah, honestly, Pat, probably just open them. I don't think they're going to do very well long term, to be honest. But yeah, so hopefully GameStop comes through. But, I mean, take, for instance, Champion's Path. They did not come through with Champion's Path. Russia Ram, Man of Feet.
You have Veltal and a Breloom. All right, so Annabelle, a little icy on those. You open them, yeah, make a video about them? I think I have better... Yeah, Pat, you probably do. Pat, you really do. I mean... Uh... I don't know, Pat. You're pretty good at it, so Pat, you might be able to like make a video about it. You could, you know, I don't know. You could be like, this is the upcoming set. This is like the Japanese sets usually give us like some insight on the new one. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, Pat. That's not. I'm bad at that stuff. All right, we got Cherisy, another Dragon Ball Z Vicious Rejuve. All right, Cherisy, let's do it. So, guys, we got one more order after this for Ryan, and then we're going to do the giveaway. Wings, Invader of the Earth. And let me grab another bag of sleeves. I could chase the roller girl. Um, that's the video with me on roller skates. <laughs> dude, Pat, you're crazy, brother, dude. The, the ideas going through your mind are nuts. <laughs> so, Pat, I know you're really big into podcasting. So, Pat, are you ever going to, like, sort of take the, the podcasting route and make some podcasts, like, revolving Pokemon? Pat says, or I could drift like a... Yo, yo, Pat, do that. <laughs> he says, maybe, but I like to see the cards we're talking about. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Pat, you can do with ASMR. <laughs> no, Pat, my eyes. Are the giveaways only for people on the Discord? Ah, uh, no, Fox. There's two requirements for the giveaway. You got to be subscribed and then fill out the link when I send it. All right, Ryan. Four Hidden Fates. Let's do it, Ryan. I don't actually... That was the last tin of that case. So, Ryan, I'm going to grab you four packs. They came from the tins anyways... Um, but I guess they're technically loose. But I opened up a whole case to get some loose packs. Alright. Ryan, last four packs of the night. We got you three Mewtwo's and a Mew. Hopefully that's a good sign. Just like a waifu well, ro while rolling up in skates. Anyone know what's the difference between Ultra Pro versus the Premium Sleeves? Versus the Premium Sleeves. Paris and a Jolteon. Pat, you should do an ASMR dressed as a waifu. <laughs> I, should, I would listen to Pokemon Podcast if it were strictly market trends and that reflect current eBay sold listing prices. Well, Frey, I'll say the one thing that a lot of people don't realize about Pokemon. So everyone goes to eBay to look at pricing, but no one ever talks about how so many transactions happen off of eBay. So many transactions happen off of eBay. And eBay is so liable to shill bidding that it's nuts. So, like, honestly, eBay is not really a good indicator, but it's really the best we have, which is kind of sad. Clefairy and a golem. Porter said, are there no orders for me? Yeah, Porter, there's not. So, Porter, we must have got them. So, Porter, every order tonight you had was unbroken bonds. Robert says truth, yeah, so like, you know, so many, like, pretty much every booster box that I buy is, uh, you know, pretty much off of eBay. So it's like every time I buy a booster box, that is not logged on eBay. And, you know, you, most of the time you buy a booster box, you're buying it less than eBay. The other thing, too, with eBay that I've heard is something that's been going on is people will buy something, hold on to it, and then like two weeks later, they'll file for a return on it if the card goes down. So, you know, like, a lot of people don't really like to sell on eBay. But it's just kind of sad because that's really the best we have, you know? Okay, so Ryan, we got Rowlet. Okay, 
Do I fill out the form for the Japanese Neo? Yeah, exactly. So, Kyle, that's exactly how it works. If you want to get into the Neo break, it's happening this Saturday. All you got to do is fill out the form in the description as well as send over payment either through Venmo or PayPal. But, yeah, so fill out the form first. The packs are 300 each, so just send over the money for as many packs as you want. And that's, that's it. And then this Saturday around 8 o'clock Eastern, um, we'll, be, we'll be picking it. All right, so tonight we got a Zekrom 8.5 Sword and Shield base. Let me take a look see what I got. And let's add a Burning Shadow. All right, so guys, for the giveaway, there's only two simple things that you need to do. Uh, firstly, you need to be subscribed to the channel. And then secondly, you'll need to fill out this Google form that I'm about to send you guys a link to right now. So Sucker, put in three bit. Okay, Robert, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. All right, so guys, I just spammed the chat with the link. Feel free to click that link and enter yourself into the giveaway. So only two things that need to happen. Uh, one, you need to be subscribed to the channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and go over to Deep Pocket Monster. Sub to his channel as well. He makes great, great content. That is Pat's channel as well, if you didn't know that. So while you're at it, might as well sub there too. But make sure you are sub to the channel and fill out that link that I sent, and uh, you'll be entered. Box is answered. Pat says, you think? Yeah, Pat. Of course, bro. Pat, no problem, man. All right. So let's see who got in first. <laughs> That's like I'll verify for sub too. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look. Oh, Ryan, you were number one. Paul, two. Frey, number three. Alpha, you're sleeping, man. Number five. Who's the last one in right now? Coach. <laughs> Hey, yo, Vaughn, how's it going, my friend? So, guys, feel free to click that link. Uh, sign up with the Google form. Just enter your YouTube name. That's all you need. And just be subscribed to the channel. If the winner isn't subscribed, we'll just pick a new one. Also, you should probably make sure that you are uh, live. So, make sure the stream is caught up. Because uh, you got to talk in the chat after you win to claim your prize. So, make sure. Because that actually happened yesterday to Shiny. So... So you should go on Deep Pocket Monster to show off this Japanese collection. I feel like a lot of people don't like Japanese, dude. <laughs> I feel like people would hate on it. I don't know why. I feel like Japanese gets, gets slack for no reason. Yes, Mitch, Mitch, I will. Mitch, let me uh, just finish the stream and I'll message you on Discord. I got you, Mitch. All right, so guys, I'm about to stop the um, the entries. So I'll give you guys like 10 seconds to get in if you want. I like the Japanese. I just bought a box of Shiny Star V. Nice, nice. All right, so 77 folks. Let's do it. Yo, Steven got in at the end. All right, guys, watch out. Karen is here. You guys got to watch your backs. All right, we're going to shuffle a ton. Full screen, and let's go. Good luck. All right, it's slowing down. Going. No way. Oh, shiny. Shiny, you almost just won again, dude. Oh, man. So, Alexander, congratulations. So, Alexander, uh, speak to me in the YouTube chat to claim your prize. Dude, shiny. You almost took it. Keyshawn, Jesse, so close. 
Karen, we gotta do the usual and find out where you were. Karen, where were you at? Oh, Karen, you're too far. Vong, how's it going? Nice to see you again. See your name over here. Alexander says, let's go. Cool, Alexander, nice. Congrats on your win. So, Alexander, um, do you already have a bag or not? And Alexander, let me check to see if you're subbed. All right, and before we forget, we also got three vivid packs coming in from Robert. He says, no bag. Okay, Alexander, no problem. So, Alexander, what you're going to want to do is if you aren't planning on buying any packs, Alexander, um, after tonight's stream, just make sure you message me your full name, address, and email on Discord, as well as request shipping in the Discord channel, all right? So hopefully you know what I mean. If you have any questions, just let me know, all right? But congrats on your win. All right, let's do it. So not only do you win this CGC slab for the Black Chiram from Boundaries Crossed, you also get some packs. He says, I missed it. Yeah, Nostalgia, unfortunately you did miss it. Fong says, I watch streams every night. Yo, Fong, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Karen's like, I'm slacking. Jilber and Fortress. I might do CGC instead of PSA. I love how clear they are. Yeah, dude, I really do like the slabs a lot. Other than the label. So, the like, like I said, if they could take PSA's label, but keep the plastic casing from CGC, that would be the perfect, perfect, perfect slab. I also think they put the card in a sleeve, I think. Maybe. Okay, Burning Shadows. Panseer and Weavile. And we got a Celebi. Nice. Okay, so Celebi V. Kind of cute. Okay, so now actually the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Let me take a peek here. So I actually haven't tried putting a CGC slab in a perfect fit. Ooh, okay. Nice. Cool, so it works. I'm also going <laughs> to slide your Celebi in there. <laughs> Poor Celebi. Boop. Try to get it down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, Celebi in with it as well. We're going to slap that on there for you. And I'm going to write your name on the back of it. Okay, so I gave you that perfect fit. So yeah, so Alex, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Just feel free to go over to the Discord and just say, hey, I'm Alex M. I won the giveaway and uh, make sure you send me your info. So you don't got to pay for the shipping. Just uh, make sure you get that info to me. He says, kind of cold tonight, but grats. Yeah, unfortunately you can't. You can't win every night, I suppose. What are those bags? Those bags are cardboard go gold, perfect fit sleeves, or PSA slaps. And they're very, very nice. In fact, I did put it on the wrong way. But you could always change that. And if you really want to reuse a sleeve, you could wipe that off with, like, uh, isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> if you want to. Chelsea says, good night, Sagar. Hope you have some good sleep. Chelsea, thanks. I appreciate that. But anyways, guys. As always, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Had a great, great time. As always, guys. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. We have some pretty exciting stuff coming up. Be on the lookout for another Pokemon quiz coming out. Those are pretty fun, I I, I mean, I think. Um, as well as the Neo Genesis box break coming up this Saturday. So as always, guys, stay awesome, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow, fam. So peace out.